Sup guys and girls, Bolt Brogan, back here for some more Automobilista 2 Racing Life. Good to have you on the stream, hope you're doing alright, hope you're keeping well wherever you are in the world, whatever time it is. Thank you so much for tuning in, absolutely fantastic to see you. And as the title says, today we're going to be doing some grinding, not the kind of grinding that this kind of outfit would lead you to believe. We're going to be doing some GT5 and some Formula V. Because that's literally the only championships that we're going to be able to do. We're signed up for these. We're halfway through. We have two races left of GT5. We got three races left of Formula V. Maybe we'll get through them all on today's stream. Maybe we won't. We'll see. We'll try and do as many as we possibly can. Both of them, we are trying to fight for championship wins. We're currently quite high up in the standings in both races after some rather interesting events. Now, if you've not seen those, check out the previous streams. Well, maybe not right now because we're watching this right now. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be awesome. Now, we can't sign up for any new series today because one, there are no series available that have the fame that we need to sign up for. And two, we don't have enough money. And three, we don't have the cars to race in them. Now, if you guys are wondering what the hell I'm talking about, if this is your first stream here, good to see you. Make sure you subscribe because I do these every week, if not more often, if I if I can. But let me show you what I'm talking about. Automobilist the 2 Racing Life, the app. There it is on the screen. Let's continue our career. The career of the mighty Bulk Brogan. 19 races. Three pole positions, nine podiums, and six wins. Sorry, no, 13 races, not 19 races. We have $39,220 in the bank. We have eight races left from our sponsor, Deutsche Post. And we have 10 fame. Now, we have a look at the car dealership. We've got uh, plenty of cars on, op on option to lease or buy, but we we don't need to do that today. Like I said, we're not in the, we're not in the market for a new car. This is what we do have, Formula V and a GT5, but I've already said that. Get on with it, Bulk. There's our sponsors. Go to post, like I said. So we get $375 per race. And if we finish in the podium in each race, we get an extra $3,000. So definitely motivation to send it. What more can I say? Uh, let's have a look at the competition. So like I said, we've got the American Formula V Championship Round 3 and 4 coming up today. At Watkins Glen Short, quite possibly one of my favourite circuits ever. And then Autodromo Yawakocha Reverse, so that's the month of May. Now if we switch over to the GT5 series, we've got Cleveland. We've got the Cleveland Grand Prix. So I am actually going to post a poll in chat right now to see uh, which one we want to do first. We could do a poll on the bottom right hand corner of the screen, but that's already filled up. We'll bulk bin it. Only one way to find out, and that's to take part in some races. So I'm not going to get rid of that vote, but I'm going to use the built-in YouTube features because that is, well, fancy. So let me just create a poll. Start poll. Uh, which series first? Now you can get your votes in directly in chat. So we're going to go for GT5, or we're going to go for Formula V. There is no time limit on this vote, as far as I'm aware. Get voting, guys. Get voting. I'm going to pin that to the top of the screen. Like I said, so GT5, we've got the Cleveland Grand Prix coming up in May, and then the Formula V Championship, we've got Autodromo uh, Yaokacha Reverse, which has been prone to some bad weather. And then... Uh, no, Watkins Glen, and then Autodromo Yaokacha Reverse. So that's what we're doing. So Formula V is currently in the lead of the vote with 56%. Uh, Ricardo, the creator, has spoken. Again... Thank you very much, Ricardo, for your contributions to Racing Life, um, of which there are many. Thank you for bringing this app into existence. This is absolutely fantastic. For those of you who are new and who don't know what this app is, basically it is a career companion app for Automobilista 2. It gives you series to sign up for. It gives you incentive to race in Automobilista 2. And when you're done, you press the advance button, you put your results in, and it generates... Well, like I said, your fame, your experience, your money, and sponsors for you. It's fantastic. It's put me in many cars and on many circuits as well that I would never have ever considered driving on before. And I've absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it. 
So let's have a look. We have 55% in, in favor of GT5 now and 45% in Formula V. So the vote has swung. And Ricardo is saying there's going to be a version 1.3 update, which is going to bring a lot of new stuff, which I'm extremely excited to see. <laughs> but before we, uh, before we get stuck into it, as now the vote has gone 50-50, so it is... It's so close. I just want to say thank you so much to everybody for tuning in. If you do enjoy today's stream, don't forget to leave it a like. Say hi in chat. I will keep up with you throughout the course of today's races and stream inside my VR headset with the chat that we've got there. I don't know who that guy is. Who that imposter is. I don't know who he's pretended to be, but he has no place on my VR headset. If you really like it, subscribe, because I try and do these streams every week, if not more often. So, yes. And as Olaf has pointed out in chat, there is some bulk Brogan merch available. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I've seen a few pictures on the Discord of people who've got their merch already. There's t-shirts, there's cups, there is uh, hoodies as well. Um, I believe I have... I think I've got a cup on the way, a mug on the way. I'm not sure if my order went through. I did only do it about 10 minutes before the stream. I'll have to go and double check that, but nothing. There's a hat now available as well. There's a bulk Brogan hat. Olaf Labs, busy in the factories behind the scenes, pumping out the merch, awesome stuff. Let me take these off because it is far too dark. I'm struggling to read chat in here. I'm in, a, I'm in a room at 8, 10 p.m. in the evening with sunglasses on. What am I doing to my life? <laughs> but yeah, Damo, Ricardo, Mum, Dad, Olaf, Mr. Bishy, Boggy, Streamlabs, John Miller, Wojtek, who is watching from school. Don't let me get you in trouble. LPF, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic to have you here. Great to see you. And for anybody who's watching and lurking, great to see you as well. So, let me have a look at the vote. It looks like we are now up to... Hang on a second. Hang on a second. Randy Salvage. <laughs> Why does that sound familiar? Why does that name sound familiar? Is that... Oh, is that... Is that a play on Randy Savage? <laughs> if so, that is genius. I like that. <laughs> is... Is that Donnie? Donnie posted something like that in Discord earlier on today. Hmm, I, I am... I am suspish. I am mega suspicious. That is sus. All right, the poll is now swung 62% in favor of the Formula V, so I'm going to end that poll. That looks like what we're going to be racing first. Formula V. So, uh... Well, 16 votes as well. 62% of 16 votes is Formula V. Fantastic stuff. All right, let me switch it over to the competition then. Formula V, round three and four. Let's do them back to back. You know, now that we're used to the Formula V series, it'd be stupid to jump straight over to a GT5, but maybe that's the kind of thing that Bolt Brogan does. We are making up this uh, character backstory as we go. <laughs> so, uh, Watkins Glen short, and then Autodromo Yawakocha reverse. Two absolutely fantastic circuits. So, let me switch it over to Automobilist 2 mode. There we go, we've got our championships ready to go. We don't need to do any setup work today. We can literally just get in and drive. Now, race distance scale is 100. Opponent skill is 88. We did turn that down for the, uh, I think it was the Volkswagen Hot Cars Championship last time out. So now what we're going to do, I believe it was 105. Uh, yeah, let's do 105. Not many opportunities around this circuit to gain time. It's the same circuit that DDF Racer used for the DTM 2020 server last year. So that's it. But as you can see, we've got two wins from two races, and we are leading on 20 points with Daniel Rienda in second place on 28 points. So with four races to go, it does look pretty convincing at the top of the series. But then again, Charles Leclerc threw away a fantastic start to the season this year in Formula 1, so anything can happen. And um, as the... Copa FL Championship proved in the very first stream that we did, or was it the second stream? I can't remember. Um, I can go into the last race with a 24-point advantage and still lose. <laughs> so that's that. Anyway, 100% distance, uh, which is going to be 10 minutes qualifying, 10 minutes race, and then opponents go 105. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Just hope you bin it for some more, more salvage from me. I, okay, I, I, am, I am suspicious of this. I'm suspicious of this. Right, let's get stuck in, guys. 
Now, this is going to be real weather and real track conditions. So it really depends on what it was like a year ago. So these, these races are taking part in May. So May 2021, this is going to basically... It, it's going to be real life weather. So I don't know what it's going to be. It's not random because then random could throw you anything. This is going to be realistic. So let's see what we got. Dry. It is a dry track with clear weather and um JDF it is one of it is one of my favorite circuits if not my favorite circuit as well it's just especially this version of Watkins Glen it's just incredible well not my head. thanks Ricardo for the two euros good luck have fun I will do my best I'm definitely gonna have fun but I might need luck depending on how the uh how the competition's going to be today. Thank you very much. I mean, let me pop this headset on and let's go driving because we only have nine minutes left of the practice and qualifying session. And let me pause that music. Let me just make sure that the VR headset has got my chat in place so I can see you. Yep, I can see you. Let's do this. Engine on. Ignition. Come on. There we go. Now ignition. It's alive! Toby Classic! <laughs> much better than working. Well, don't let me distract you too much, alright, Toby? I don't, I don't want anybody getting into trouble here. Buzz on the limiter at 60k. 22 cars in the field. Eight and a half minutes left. It looks clear. All right, Dan, we've a got practice eight minutes to set a lap. Slash qualifying. Brakes all round. Be careful. Call tires all round. <laughs> Olaf. Yeah, it'd be silly. This this is a real moustache, I can assure you, by the way. Not a fake moustache that's stuck on with incredibly sticky glue. That takes a lot of time and hot water to remove after stream, not in the slightest. So, this is the Watkins Glen short layout. Which means that we don't use this bus stop chicane. Although we do have a very fast corner here. With a lot of oppo. Now something I remember from the first two rounds of the season in this car. It's got a lot of pull in the lower gears. Oh, I don't want that one. There it is. And that's me messing around with the with the HUD view. That was me trying to get my virtual mirror up. So I realized my mirrors weren't working at all then, and now I've got them basically done a a nice oversteer into the gravel, so that is a fantastic way to start this. <laughs> oh, these Formula V cars are absolutely tiny. You can hardly see that over the, the banking in the road then. Here we've got some dirt on the tyres. The leader's just done a 130.60. But that shouldn't stop us. And now we have a reference car so we can see when we need to brake. Because I've never driven this car track combo before. I've driven this circuit plenty of times. But not this car track combo. There's not much to it. Really? There's not many corners and most of them are very fast. <laughs> you can't vote now, Randy. <laughs> I've already binned it, so that's basically saying you want to bin it again. Yeah, this, this Formula V car does look very different from the iRacing one, I will give you that. Although I haven't tried that one either. The guy in front has just done a Even though it's free in iRacing, I kind of joined iRacing before that car was a thing, so I never really went through it in the rookie class. Keep it in fourth gear here. Now I need to drop it down to third, it's got the drive. The track falls away downhill as well. This is going to be a draft pack, I can tell you now, guys. This has got the feeling of a race that's going to be about quite a lot of slipstream. 
Is the whole lap in fourth gear? I think I'm definitely closing on the guy ahead. So current pole time is 129.1. What is this going to be with dirty tyres? 130.7 puts me 19th on the grid, but I know I can definitely make up a lot more time than that. So I missed my braking spot into the first corner last time. Didn't get the momentum right. Now I can floor it out. There's three tenths already. And I'm going to get a bit of slipstream on this as well. Nice and early turn in because all about momentum in this thing. Now the tyres are a little bit more up to temperature. It should grip a little bit better as well. That's four tenths. Oh, nice drift going into that. Yeah, these things look slower. JDF. They do look slower. But um, I'm currently doing 190k down the back straight now, which in the grand scheme of things isn't a lot compared to, say, the GT5. But don't forget, the, this is still the entry-level series that we're working our way through. You know, this random mustachioed racer is just it's not going to appear out of nowhere. And they're not going to trust him with a super high-speed racing machine, you know? you got to prove yourself. you got to work your way up through the ranks. And that is what is absolutely fantastic about racing life. Start at the bottom, and if you're good enough, you'll work your way up. Sector 2 is 0 0.40 off the pace. Okay, there's, the, there's three quarters of a second. I'm trying to work my way up here. Make it eight tenths. Ten that puts me tenth on the grid. Points. One side. Still there. Still there. So by side three, turn one Clear here. Line. Two tenths up. <laughs> Randy, I think I may have found the nemesis in chat. The leader's just done it. 129.08. Alright, that's three tenths down. Now we can see just how apparent the slipstream is. Four tenths down. I'm pulling along the cars behind as well. They're trying to overtake me. They're getting big slipstreams. I'm trying to pull them along with me so I can slingshot them for the next lap. Yeah, that half a second, and it's going wide as well. I'm gonna let them get that. Oh, a bit of a wiggle off the outside there. This is very close. Three tenths would get me up to fifth on the grid, I believe. Still there. This this is going to be a very closely fought race. Something tells me. All about draft packs and that kind of stuff. Nice kick of oversteer on the way in. That's it. Three tenths already. I'll give it a crack. Because there's another car down the road there. Which I can get a little bit of slipstream from. Still there. Clear on the left. Just two minutes left. Two there minutes we go. There's a tenth up. Uh, I'm just in slipstream range here. A good run out of turn one. Okay, now I'm down to 11th. Yeah. Especially that, that is a risk in these open open wheelers, Randy. I just reminded this car doesn't have five gears, only the four available. So, no matter how tempting it is, don't go for a shift up here. Because ain't nothing going to happen apart from a big box in neutral. Oh, it's pushing wide, big understeer. Don't get a cut track on the outside here. Use all of the track and then some. 600s up, which isn't going to get me around the grid, but I did gain three tenths in the final corner last time around. So I'm actually going to switch to left foot braking here. Sector two is. Because I know I'm not going to be making a gear shift. Off the pace. Only just in track side. limits there. Going for the move on the inside. And there's four tenths. It could have been half a second, but I was a bit tight on the inside there. Two. What is this going to get me up the grid? I've got one more lap to go. That's, your quickest That's fifth. One and Still two seven tenths off the pace, though. Off the pace. We're tenth off the pace in sector three. Your last lap time was at 
I'm very surprised that wasn't a cut track. <laughs> This is going to be the last lap of the qualifying slash practice session. Because once the clock hits zero, that's it. You can finish your lap. Unlike racing where when the clock hits zero, that's the end of your session immediately. No, you can actually finish your lap in Automobilista 2. Can I find three tenths of a second to get myself another spot on the grid? Oh, not with an apex like that, I can't. Hopefully I can get the slow in fast out. That was a bit wide at the apex, but I got a good slingshot with the banking there. I'm only eight hundredths down. Make it seven. Nope. Eight. No slipstream to pull me along either. Yeah, that's going wide. That's a cut track. That is definitely a cut track for sure. <laughs> All right, Voitech. Good luck with the rest of class, mate. Don't let me get you in trouble. Don't forget to watch the replay afterwards because we are starting in fifth position. It is a little bit of a distant fifth position. So you can see I'm here, 129.5. Augusto Santin, 128.8 at the top of the field. They must have had one hell of a slipstream there. Uh, to be honest, I only just beat uh, sixth, seventh, and 8th and ninth. Wow, it's less than a tenth of a second between 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 cars there. That is pretty impressive. Uh, although 4 tenths of a second up to the next car. It's the Pedro Maia. Then we've got Alicio Neto, Haita Naguera, and Augusto Santin up at the top of the field. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, LPF? Yes, I did. I just gave out homework to Wojtek. Don't forget to watch the replay. Very true. All right, so we got race one coming up very shortly, which is going to be 10 minutes. Let me progress, actually. So let's re let's remember that qualifying takes place in the morning and the race takes place in the afternoon, based on real weather. However, the weather hasn't changed. It is still stinking hot on... St what? 41 degree track temperature, 15 degree ambient clear track and a dry track uh, clear sky and a dry track so that is um perfect for racing i guess starting in fifth we have a nice healthy championship lead but i need to try and make up a few more spots than this to try and maintain it um daniel rienda is my rival who is starting in ninth but they are only a tenth of a second behind me now i have a feeling that this is going to be a bit of a interesting race because it's all going to be about the slipstream. It's it's going to be it's going to be very. <laughs> it's 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 yeah. It's going to be all about the slipstream and positioning on track, and not so much whoever can be the fastest, but positioning yourself to not get absolutely freight trained. If you go wide, I can imagine you're going to make a, make a lot of. Uh, we're going to lose a lot of spots here. Welcome to the stream, Toby Classic. Good to see you. All right then, I reckon we should do this. Let's drive. 10 minutes. Formula V of Watkins Glen Short. P5, okay down, be ready. Green, green, green. Bit of wheel spin off the line there. Down to six there already. Guy next was just jumped us, so I'm going to move over to the left and try and maximize that racing line. Don't line. break too late. Still Hold the apex nice and Little tight. Gonna give him some room. Still there. Tires will be coldish. It was almost a three wide on the exit then. The guy behind thought he was going to be very optimistic. We do not want to fall too far out of this train. Guy on the right's got a hell of a slipstream already. Wow. You go, mate. I'm going to follow you through. You can drag us up the field there. So we're pushing 190, 192, 193, 194. This is exactly what we need. We need to follow this guy through. He's going to defend the inside. I'm going to break nice and early. I don't want to push wide again like I did before. Use the banking on the apex here. Get the exit. 
Still, I could really take that corner a little bit tighter just to maintain the line. Oh, they've had a dodgy run though. I'm going to go to the outside here. Look at them, three wide up there. For the lead of the race, bit of grass on the outside. Still there. <laughs> what a save! What a save! I think there's a bit of damage on the rear right suspension there. But that is definitely getting saved into the replays. Not quite sure how I how I didn't completely rotate that round. <laughs> wow! That is definitely underpants. Let's get some more underpants in chat. On your right. Still there. He's still there. Now I'm going to be on the outside for turn two and three. Still there. Well, I get slightly right. closer to the leader, though. Okay, now the next car is Rampanelli. This uh, <laughs> big, big, big drift indeed, Stephen Coe. Uh, this leapfrog between me and Rampanelli for fifth and sixth is actually bringing us closer to the leaders here. Because we're kind of exchanging places on the straights. Like, leapfrog. Okay, keep it nice and tight. Bleed off a bit more speed. That's it. Patience, 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 and now go. Although Suarez behind was getting a bit optimistic then. And keep an eye on the right hand side of the track here, guys, for a nice big brown skid mark on corner entry. Right here. Oh, wow, that was hell of a wide, that. Or what? I'm going to suffer for that. I'm going to get got around the outside here. There. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. It seems I'm taking too much speed into that uh, penultimate corner. I'm still getting used to this Just current track. Although we are already... Six. Your lap time six, was well, six and a half minutes remaining in the race out of ten minutes. So there's not much time to get used to it. Not many laps here today. Andre, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Right, we're right in the fight now. This is great, although Rampanelli is making spots. He was my battle partner from before. Look at this. They are kind of pulling away a little bit on the straight. The guy behind, you can see him in the mirrors there. He is getting stuck in as well, up to her mighty 197 kilometers an hour in this Formula V. Maya is leading the race. We had a change of lead up ahead. Right side. We've got someone trying to sneaky optimistic move on the out the right. on the inside. I'm get getting pushed right. wide. I thought I could get that guy around the outside, but I just didn't have the grip. That's Neto for fifth. On your right. Oh on yep. Your right. Yep, they're gonna back out of it, that's good. Now don't take too much speed in this time. Left side. Well I can't do that because I'm getting dived. Steady. Patience, patience. Now I'm still gonna be on the inside still for the final corner here. Still there. Still there. Oh, someone just got flipped line. in the mirrors. I saw a car upside down. Hold your line. I'm not exactly sure how that Still happened. There. Hold your line. Clear left. That was a 129.78. On your left. Clear left. And we're clear on the left. This is difficult. This is quite difficult here. Um, I would try to be a bit more aggressive on the dive bombs, but there's not really any okay, massive breaking zones where you can dive bomb these guys. They got a good run through two and three there. I'm falling back. Half a second, six tenths, seven tenths. The AI definitely gets stuck in. Look at that, three wide. It's gonna. Are they gonna go five wide for the lead up there? You're kidding me. And that's why you don't go to third gear, because there's literally no revs left in third gear there. Oh, that's a bit wide, but I didn't get a cut track, so it's all fine. I'm only about a second off the leader. Just need to be a little bit closer with 420 left in the race. Nice and tight. There we go. I didn't get dive that time. I can take the optimal line into the final corner. Nice and wide. Pop it down to third. Use a bit of curb on the inside. 
floor it out. Nice and close. Oh, there's debris on the track there. There's like a spring just got flicked up into my face or something. Why? I love Automobilista 2. <laughs> I wouldn't be saying that if that was a real, real race. But just the level of detail here is insane. Oh, guy on the outside's going slow for some reason. In the bolt broken livery. I don't know why I'm not racing that car. That's yellow and red with the flames and stripes. That is classic bulk. Yeah, Pedro Mayer. I should be driving that one. I'm falling back again. They've got mega slipstream up ahead here. Eight tenths behind the leader, who is a bit of a sitting duck here. Three minutes to go in the race. Remember, no need to put it down to third, because there's no revs in third down there. All right. Nice little run around the outside, but I just had to lift out because it was going to run out of grip. That four-wheeler V is wiggling all over the place, and we're going to box him in and get the slipstream from this guy on the inside with two and a half minutes to go. Still there. You just gotta Still there. pick your moments. Keep it steady. You gotta play the positional game right. It's Still like an oval there. race, this. Hold your line. Clear right. Couldn't turn into my usual spot because there's uh, old mate Naguera on the inside. Right side. And now we've got a run. They're defending. Still Let's go there. to the inside here. Break it to 300. Watch the apex. Right, right side. Watch the apex. Keep them pinned tight. Get the drive out. There. Put them on the outside to turn two. Keep it steady. Hold your line. Give them space on the curb on the inside. That's going to push there. us wide. Now they're going to get the optimal line and they're going to get the drive Hold out. Oh, big drift. Almost went into the side Hold of him there. Line. Yep, that's right. killed our run a bit. That's two minutes. But now that's instead of being nine minutes. tenths behind the leader, we're only six tenths. With two laps to go, I reckon, at this rate. Oh, this, this race. <laughs> All right, Olaf. I know what you mean. It, it, it's got the dynamics of an oval race, if not... On your left. Ooh, You're the in the driving left. skill. Right. Guy on the inside We're braked right. mega early and kind of swerved in the braking zone there. I think... I think we're okay. I think the car's fine. But now he's dropping back. Maybe he's got a bit of damage there. So now we're up to Left fourth. That's uh, Neto up ahead. What a Still race! There. Don't do the same as lap one. Clear lap. Let them take the inside. Get the line out. Here we go! Pop it down to third. Nice and smooth. Get the drive. He's gone wide. Some more debris on track there. Let's see if we can avoid that. Don't get hit in the face with... I think it's a bit of an exhaust. Still there. Still Last there. lap here now, guys. Clear to the right. Nice move, mate. Right side. We don't want to be in the lead of the race going down these straights. Six, two. Pulling everybody else along with us. Right. I'm going to back Still out of this. Clear, clear because tonight. last time we got shuffled out. Because we didn't take the optimal line through two and three. We lost a lot of speed on the straight, although it seems like we're losing speed already. On your left. Guy behind. Alicio Neto has given me a tap. Third on the left. He tried to get through. He gave me a tap. Oh, we got severe damage. We got severe damage. AI just spun us round. Damn. His suspension's completely knackered. Oh. It's going to be a... Did not score. Go around, go around, go around. I've got booted again. That's my own fault for going into the middle of the track. Oh, yeah. There's a bit of damage there. There's, there's a lot of damage there. Oh, this car's toast. I'm going to have to DNF it. Oh, there goes... There goes my podium bonus as well. Now, all logic would say that this car is ready for the bin. Oh, I've suddenly gained a lot of aerodynamic grip there. <laughs> I'm not going to DNF it. I'm going to come home in 21st if, if that's what it takes. The suspension is pointing all over the place. Wow. 
This is going to be the longest last lap ever. Not quite sure what has happened with the suspension. I think some kind of toe link has definitely broken here. <laughs> it was a it was a spectacular bin. Bambeeks. That was an absolutely spectacular bin. Just the AI was trying to make a move on me around the outside of turn three. Trying to get me onto the straight. They just clipped the rear. And round it goes. Cheeky, cheeky from the AI. Oh, he didn't hit me. He rubbed me. And rubbing is racing. Yeah, look, you can see my... Uh, my front right tyre is facing that away. And the rest of my car is facing that away. Although I think I've just figured out the correct amount of throttle to uh, crab it down the track at 40k-ish as the pack goes through on the cool-down lap. And I've just noticed that the curb has disappeared in the mirror there. There's a hole in the track, so I might put that on the bug tracker for AMS too. Left side, three wide, you're on the right. <laughs> she's, she's done it again! It tapped me again! And now I can't see where I'm going. Don't even think about it. <laughs> One thing Bulk Brogan never does is give up. Many people would have parked the car, and I know this is extremely dangerous, but i got to get to the end of the... I've got to finish this race, I've got to cross the line. Cannot register a DNF. Hey, Luke! Good to see you, mate. One of the only things I can see right now. Pop into second, get some drive. We're almost there. <laughs> Randy. <laughs> Randy's uh, on fire today. Oh, don't. Nope. 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 Oh, what was promising to be a good finish. Possibly a podium finish on the final lap has turned into uh, quite possibly one of Bolt Brogan's worst races yet. Never rage quit. Never retire. Never give up. That is... That is the Bulk Brogan way, Olaf. In fact, that'd probably be, uh, that'd probably make quite a good right. t-shirt. Still there. So, depending on where Daniel Still Rienda there. finished that race, this could have quite a dent in my championship hopes. Clear right. Right that's got a white, that's basically a negative 20, uh, 25 pointer right, in, right there. <laughs> All right, cooldown lap enabled. I do not want to do that cooldown lap. That was, uh, what was it, 4 minutes 53? That will do. So let's skip the cooldown lap. And let's continue. Clear right. Clear right. Oh, that was, that was promising to be so good as well. That was, that was so close to being a podium finish. Never mind. These things happen. This is, this is racing life. So let's continue and let's have a look. So Daniel, thankfully Daniel Rienda only scored four points in that one. So I only dropped, uh, well, I mean, I'll still, well, negative 21, I guess, I suppose, the 21 difference, anyway. Uh, no cooldown lap at all, no. All right, so let's have a look at the points then. Uh, Giancarlo Rampanelli, that's the guy I was leapfrogging with earlier in the race, went on to win that one. So congratulations to Giancarlo. That was, that was close. So points-wise... Oh, Giancarlo Rampanelli with that win has now launched himself up to uh, 47 points. Only three points behind me. Excellent from Giancarlo there. Augusto Santan on 36, and then Daniel Rienda on 32. Hector Naguera on 31. So, what I said at the start of the stream about this championship being looking pretty good, although I, I, it, it's not over till it's over. It could be Charles Leclerc. Well, it's just gone and been Charles Leclerc. I have now turned a massive lead into a three-point lead, just like magic. So let's continue. So we qualified it in fifth and we finished 21st. 
So now let's continue and let's go to Racing Life and let's plug those results in, shall we? Let's see what this does. It's it's basically going to be not much in terms of fame or anything. Uh, chat's frozen on stream. Yeah, unfortunately, not much I can do about that, uh, Mr. Bishy. I'll, uh, I'll 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 give it a refresh. It's still going in my headset, which is nice. This may kill the chat on stream completely, but this is a problem I've been having. So, uh, test one, two, three, four. <laughs> Randy, you just can't give it a break, can you, mate? <laughs> uh, all right. So let's go to racing life. That wasn't a fantastic race, but let's go and see what happens. So American Formula V, Watkins Glen Short. It always happens on the circuits that you want to, you enjoy the most. So qualification was fifth, race result was twenty-first. So let's finish. Uh, that gained us 0.01 in terms of fame and only three hundred and seventy-five dollars. So as you can see here. Deutsche Post give us three hundred and seventy-five uh, dollars per race, and then three thousand dollars bonus if I get on the podium. But that was definitely not a podium. <laughs> so anyway, that that is that. So I reckon we should just go straight onto the next round of the championship, and let let's just let's just while you know while we're on a roll, keep on going with the Formula V. No point switching over to the GT5 and getting used to to a, to a new car again. Uh, we need to go to Autodromo Yawakocha Reverse for round four of the championship. There's not much more to do in racing life here. Um, uh, Deutsche Post, I've still got seven races left on my sponsorship deal, Ricardo. So I've got plenty of time to turn it round. I finished on the podium in every race that I've had so far with Deutsche Post. So it's 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 not over yet. Although I did get those two results in the Hot Cars Championship, which is where I was not expecting podiums. So the series I was expecting podiums in, I go and bin it. So there is that. So, yep, not much more to do. There's no admin to do, no finances to take care of. Everything runs itself. Basically just got to, uh, got to get back on it again. Yeah, so chat has died on stream. Yeah, Randy. <laughs> Join Discord just to see where all the second place people hang out. I like that. Um, okay, I'm going to give chat another refresh on stream, but this has been an ongoing issue with Streamlabs over the past few months, and it's really starting to get on my nerves now. It's still working in the headset, which is important. I can still see you guys while I'm driving, but it's not coming up on stream. It's coming up on the YouTubes. It's coming up over here. Ah, <laughs> demo. <laughs> and it's, um, yeah. I don't know, guys. I did try and give it a refresh, Mr. Bishy. I did warn you it may kill it, and it has killed it. So, chat will just have to... You're not going to see it here. You're just going to have to see it over there somewhere on the on the menu bar. Off. I can't, I can't reach, because... Well, hang on. Over, over here somewhere. You're going to have to look at it over here somewhere. Or, if you're watching on mobile, it could be down here somewhere. But basically, it's it's not... It's it's not there. And it's not there. <laughs> uh, what would you like to have in Racing Life in between races? Interviews with a driver skill functionality. Invitation to random historic events like in the uh, Formula 1 games. Ooh, interesting. I haven't thought about that, actually. What could we do in between races in Racing Life? Uh, I, I, for one, would like to go and have a look at my trophy cabinet. <laughs> I don't know, it's a good question. I'll have a think about that. I'll have a think about that. Anyway, let's get straight let's get stuck straight back into it again, shall we? We've got a race to take care of. We've got out to Dremel Yao Kutcher reverse. I'm gonna keep the AI on 105. Got ten minutes qualifying, ten minutes race. Our nearest championship rival is now Giancarlo Rampinelli. So let's get on with that one. Aiden Millwood. Welcome to the chat. Good to see you. Hulk Bogan. Bulk Brogan. Take your pick. Right. Now, this is a circuit we've raced on before in various classes, actually. I think we raced this in the hot cars and also raced it in the GT5s. Well, we did race it in GT5s. 
And it has a very nice habit of very changeable weather conditions in every race we've done so far. However, if you have a look here in the Formula V car setup, the only tyres that are available are street modern. So whether it, it's rain or shine, one set of tyres is going to do the trick for all of it. So don't have to worry about strats, which kind of takes a little bit of fun out of it, but it doesn't take the fun out of actually getting on track and driving in changeable conditions. So that said, it could change at any moment. The cloud could shift and we could have a wet track and a not great qualifying time. So let's shift it over to AMS2 mode and let's go driving. Come on, car. There we go. Let's get this limiter on. Oh, it's the wrong way. I've just done a sticky. I've just done a sticky. I've drove the wrong way. It's... Oh, it's a drama. Yeah, I'll cut your reverse. Disqualified. Do I not get a second chance at that? Oh, okay. Am I starting from the back of the grid? <laughs> oh, no! Is... is <laughs> oh, the, the amount of times I've made fun of Sticky for doing that. And I've just got kind of done exactly the same thing. Oh. <laughs> Does that mean I'm disqualified from the next session as well? Skip to end. Continue to race one. Ten minutes. No. Not got much time to sort this out. I'm not disqualified from the race. I'm not disqualified from the race. Uh, I'm. I guess I'm starting from the back. What do you reckon, guys? Should I live with my mistakes and take some responsibility for my stupid actions by driving the wrong way down the pit lane, or is this worthy of a restarted weekend? Actually, I don't think I don't think I even can restart it now, can I? No, it doesn't even give me the option to restart weekend, does it? No. Well, that's it then. I guess we. <laughs> I guess we're starting from the back. Okay. Bulk no restart. Okay then. Right. Well, that was a short qualifying session. Um, so we've gone from qualifying fifth. So basically, we've gone from winning the first two races of the season to qualifying 5th, to finishing 21st, to then being disqualified and starting in last. However, my championship rival Giancarlo Rampanelli, who's only 3 points behind me, is starting in 11th place outside the points. Now I'm going to try and reset chat one more time on stream, and if this doesn't work, I'm going to give up for the rest of the stream because I'm not really sure why it isn't happening. So let me just get rid of all of these and turn them back on again. Is that going to reset them? We'll find out very shortly. But it looks like uh... <laughs> Randy. <laughs> it looks like we are getting ready to go in this race. Cool! Alright then, starting from the back. That was, that was mostly unexpected. Ten minutes, that's not a lot of time to sort things out. Are you ready? Watch for the lights. Ten minutes. You'll need to get on with this. Go, go, go. Engine wasn't started for the start of the race. I think we've got away with that. R1 in the middle. 3-1. Hold your line. Clear right. Car left. Still there. Bearing in mind, I have not driven this car track combo before, so I don't know where to brake. This is literally my first lap in this combo. Learning as we go. Oh, the rain could be coming, Ricardo. Right side. Clear right. Got a bit of a turn in there. 
That's the thing with this this location. It it just rains out of nowhere all the time. Too wide. Round the outside. Right side. Hold your line. Don't forget that this is on 105% difficulty. Three wide, two right. Go for the mega send here. Up to 13th place already. Clear right, you're clear. Far right. Still there. Hold your line. He's still there. Make that 12th. Clear to the right. Make that 12th, we're already up to 12th, and the positions on the relative haven't updated yet, so I don't know who the cars ahead and behind are, but I do believe Rampinelli is the yellow car, or one of the yellow cars up ahead. Right, now we're to break for turn one. Like this, keep doing it to be 12. On your left. Okay. Two left, clear left. That is Rampinelli directly ahead of me, my championship rival, who's three points behind. Up to 12th, 22nd to 12th on the first lap, and now it gets a bit more right. difficult. Got the run here, let's try around the outside. Still there. Three wide, near the left. This is Rampinelli for 10th, I believe. Still there. Water right. Oh, a bit wide there. Clear left. Bit of a drifty oppo oversteery moment there. Oh, this car has got so much slip angle, it's great. Obviously street tyres, so you can play around with this a little bit. Right side. Late dive there. You're going to leave the door open for me, I'll take it. Hold your line. Clear right. There we go. That's the guy in the championship we're fighting. Well done. Nicely done. Although there are several people hot on my heels in the points who could be ahead of me. I just can't... I can't remember right now. Still there. Clear to the right. There's another spot they backed out on the outside there. I had the massive overlap and that was fine. Through the final corner to the end of lap two. Nice little drift there. Oh, this car is so much fun. Ninth position. The leader has just done a 147.50. E9, that was a 146.48. On your left. Still there. Still there. Right around the outside. Clear left. That's Ricardo versus Bottas in Monza stuff. That, wow. Brakes on this thing are very good into turn one. Left side. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold First time in this line. race, I've not been stuck on the outside in that left. Oh, there's another bump from the AI there. We know what happened last time out. Don't want to repeat of that. Nice and tight. That's seventh. This is the same AI difficulty as the previous race. On your right. Still there. Clear right. There we go, made it through. Good That's work. sixth. Trulbo, hello. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. That's five minutes to go in five minutes. Okay, halfway through the race. Got plenty of fuel. Doing our last to first challenge. Right. Keep it steady. Making Clear progress. Up. That was Daniel that's Rien that we just passed. I know that guy's pretty close on points. Bit of grass on the outside. That's oh, I've lost a bit of momentum. They're going to do the inside line. On your Let's give him a bit of space just to be careful. Hold your line. Going side by side. Bit of grass on the Still right. There. Hey, Colin Burton. That's stay. Daniel Rien there. Break around about the 120 Still mark into there. turn one here. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Bit of oppo on the way out. Keep it steady. Clear left. left and we side. got him. Clear to the left. 
was the fastest lap of the race. Well, that was at 1.45. It looks okay. like the rain is staying away so far. Although now I've said that, it's probably going to absolutely pour it down torrentially, right? That's that's the way these things always work. Into fourth, hold it nice and tight, don't run too wide. Early into third here. This corner's a lot more deceptive than you think. Nice and early. Oh, they're on your way. leaving a nice wide open. Nice wide open door for me, I'll take that. Thank Still you very there. much. This is for fourth. Still there. We are indeed Colin Burton. This is round four of the championship for the Formula V series. The Formula V American series, I believe it is. Wow, big snap of Oppo there. The gap in front is increasing. It's now 1.1 seconds. I uh, actually forgot in qualifying Colin that I was driving on the reverse layout of this circuit, so automatically went the other way down the pit lane and got disqualified from the qualifying session, so started in 22nd and last, and now with three minutes exactly left in the race, find myself up to fourth place. That's the podium fight up ahead. Don't forget that Aldi give... Uh, not Aldi. Deutsche Post. Give me an extra three thousand dollars if I can get on the podium in sponsorship money. So P4, that would be that last lap was at quite an achievement, considering where we start this little ten-minute sprint. Although the leaders are fighting, and it looks like there's a bulk Brogan-themed car in the lead of this race as well, with the yellow and red. The imposter is up at the front at the moment. They got held up, they got Still bolted there. on the apex. So I'm going to try and sneak it up the inside here. Still there. They're still holding on. Still there. Well, you're clear to the right. Two minutes to Give them the space on the inside. There's still a right tiny line. bit of overlap. I don't want to get bonked out like I did at Watkins Glen on the final lap. Clear to the right. Right side. Oh, they're still going for the dive. Slowing Clear. both of us down while the leaders get stuck in up ahead as well. Clear right. <laughs> Big drift in. Nice. Nicely done. Car right. Still there. Clear could you get right. any closer? Actually, don't answer that chat. I could, and it's probably going to be an airplane crash. Right side. Line. Little feather on the throttle there. Keep it steady. And they got the run on the outside. Nope, clear they're backing right, out of it. Clear. Okay, we're up into second place. This is going to be the last lap now. Battle for the lead on the last lap. Here we go. What a beautiful circuit. B2, one more to go. Keep it together. We'll be on the podium. Car away. Still there. One I got dived. I was trying not to run into the guy ahead. Ended up leaving myself vulnerable to the guy behind. All right, down. The next car is Mayan. We got the run here on the outside. He's still there. Keep it steady. Three-way battle for the lead on the final Hold lap. Wow, well, that was sketch. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear right. Got him. Got him. Back into second. Car left. Go for the dive. Still there. We give him the space on the outside. Three He's still there. The right. Oh no, Defend. three wide. Clear to the right. Defend the three inside. Wide. You're on the right. Stay right. Three wide. He's still there. He's still there. Let's get the switch left. back. He's covering. He's covering. Right. Three wide. You're on the left. I can't just run into the back of him. That's it, open door, I'm going to take it. It's going to give me a slow run off the corner though. Still there. <laughs> it's going to be a run to the line. Still there. I am tight on the apex here though. Very tight on the apex here. Oh, they're going to, they're going to try it. They're going to try it. Still there. Uh, six hundredths of a second, seven hundredths. I think we've just got it. 
seven hundred, six hundred, five hundred. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> Half a tenth. Clear left. On your left. Half a tenth of a second at the line. <laughs> what a race! From last place on the grid as well. Bull Brogan well and truly cementing any shreds of his relationship. Uh, relationship, his reputation that he may have had. His relationship with the Formula V has been well and truly rekindled now after those first two wins of the season. What a race! <laughs> I genuinely thought the AI was going to get me then. And you can see, I was not engineering that at all. If you go back and watch my replay, watch the telemetry, that throttle was absolutely flat to the floor out of the final corner. Oh, Randy. Randy, Randy, Randy. <laughs> What's your beef, man? Where is the beef? Oh, what a race. Aldi. Who needs Aldi? Deutsche Post. That's where the sponsor money's at. I'm going to give me that nice, tasty $3,000. And that is going to be the end of May in racing life. As far as the Formula V is concerned, we now move on to our GT5 championship next. Which I believe is at Cleveland. Feels like every week I race at Cleveland. Uh, yep, dinner's on bulk tonight, Ricardo. Apart from seafood. No seafood. That stuff's expensive, man. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's do some little victory donuts. Can this Formula V even do a donut? We're about to find out. Absolutely kill the gearbox into first there. Hang on a second. All the pit people running out. And what is this? Is this Le Mans or something? That guy just walked through a fence. What, what is this? Oh, I came for the burnouts, I'm now staying for the uh, 25 gun salute or whatever it is. <laughs> Automobilista 2 never change. No, I don't think I can do a burnout in these things. Oh well, skip the cooldown lap and uh, let's bask in our glory. Oh, there goes the keyboard. Bringing all of the beef, if you man up and race against the real competitor like Nacho Man Randy Salvage, it will be the best fight of all time. Who is this Randy Salvage guy? Where the hell have you come from? He's smack talking me the entire stream. Oh, mate. What can I say? Alright then. So let's continue and let's have a look at our points. We currently have 25 points from that. Giancarlo Rampanelli only scored two. So that is a nice swing in the championship. And also, Daniel Rienda. Only scored 10 in that one as well. So I think we may have gotten away with this one ever so slightly. Thanks, JDF. Thanks, Ricardo. <laughs> Don't get those two mixed up, Stephen. Whatever you do. So as you can see here, 75 points. Three wins and a 21st position. We're now on... Well, we can see that Giancarlo Rampanelli and Hector Aguera are tied on 49 points per second. Augusto Santon is in fourth place in the championship on 48 with two rounds to go. So I have... I have more than a race wins lead with two rounds to go. So I can literally DNF the next round. And... I would still be in the lead going into the final race. Although that I, I don't want to DNF the next round, just to clarify Marzi. I don't wanna I don't wanna say that. So we qualified in twenty first position and we finished no, qualified in twenty second position and we finished in first. So let's continue. Do you guys hear something? Like a weird kind of glitchy thing going on there. What the hell was that?
Hmm. Oh, look at this prima donna! <laughs> is that... Is that Rand... How the hell? Did that say Randy Salvage on screen then? Have I been stream hijacked by Randy Salvage? Would you like to answer a question right at this particular time? Would you like to do that? What? <laughs> Randy Salvage? Somebody said the voice chat. Have I, accident have I accidentally left my voice comms on? Bulk Brogan and Randy Salvage are going to have some kind of epic showdown. Is that what this is? Is that what this is going to be, Randy? I think that is actually Randy Salvage in the voice comes. <laughs> Can't quite, it's not coming through 100% clearly, but uh, there is a voice in the machine. There is definitely a voice in the machine that goes by the name of Randy Salvage. <laughs> what? <sighs> it must be in Discord. Yes, it is. We do. We have a stream hijack. Bulk Brogan versus Nacho Man Randy Salvage. Let me see if I can uh Yeah, yeah, that is true. We we do we do have a voice in Discord right now. I'm not sure where this is going. I'm not sure what exactly is happening right now, but there is some kind of uh some kind of showdown happening. WrestleMania five all over again, Ricardo. Cannot confirm or deny that, but um there may be a second racing life character in the works by the looks of this. I think the epic rivalry is about to rekindle itself all over again. Watch this space. Watch this space, guys. Watch this space. Right, let's go back to racing life and let's put some numbers in, shall we? So, we need to advance. And we're going to basically go to Autodromo Real Cacho Reverse. The key part of that is the reverse. Okay? We don't want to drive it the right way. We want to drive it the wrong way intentionally because it says reverse. So, qualification result is 22nd. And race result, remarkably, is 1st. So let's finish this and see what happens. Last to first challenge. So, we gained 0 0.5 fame. And we earned 3,375 sponsor money. Lovely, lovely dollars. So let's go back to the dashboard and we can see the experience is now going up to 24. Fame has risen to 11 and we've actually got $42,970 now. With 15 races, 7 wins, 3 poles and 10 podiums. That is not bad. Now if you cast your mind back to the start of the stream, you would have seen that we had the choice between the American Formula V Championship, which we have now done both races, and then we had GT5 American Cup, which is what we're going to be doing next. Now this is the month of May, so we're going to be doing it at Cleveland. This one specifically, Cleveland GP, we're going to do 10, uh, no, GT5 races are 15 minutes, so we're in for a little bit more of a treat here, although we've still got 10 minutes for qualifying and practice combined, although because we've raced here at Cleveland a few times, I think I'm kind of getting used to the circuit now. You know, Bulk is getting quite familiar with the way this this airport racetrack goes. This giant piece of tarmac with a few cones and lights and lines that tell you which way you're going to go that isn't confusing in the slightest. <laughs> so let's go to competition. And yeah, well, I mean, there's not much more we can do. Like I said earlier, there's no more series I can sign up for. My fame is still at 11. And uh, none of these series, uh, you know, you've got the Formula 3, which requires 40 driver fame. LMP2 is 45. DTM Trophy, rest in peace DTM, is uh, only 25. European Stock Car is 20. So, but I still can't race in these series. I still can't race them because my fame is only 11. I, I'm going to have to wait until the end of the GT4, uh, GT5 and um, Formula V Championships. So that's what's coming up next. <laughs> that was you, Randy Salvage. <laughs> 
I think this is going to be the start of a glorious rivalry. And it just goes to show that although Bulk Brogan may bin it on the track, uh, it appears that Randy Salvage bins it in the microphone department, which is a bit of a shame. Not the glorious stage entrance I'm, I'm sure he was hoping for. <laughs> but good effort, Randy. Good effort, mate. Whoever you may be, mystery man, nemesis. Uh, okay, so GT5 race coming up next at Cleveland. No sponsor deals to sort out, no finances to look at, no series to sign up for. If we have a sneak preview at June, however... <laughs> Randy, if you keep your if you keep your uh, keep your focus on June, which is what's going to be coming up next, obviously because June follows May, we have rounds five and six of the American Formula V Championship, and then round four of the GT5 American Cup. So you can see here, round five and six is Autodromo Yaukacha and Virginia International Raceway Grand. So that's going to be interesting in the Formula in the Formula Vs, and then GT5 is. We've got two races at Virginia International Raceway Grand. We might as well do them back to back, shan't we? Okay, so let's go and get stuck into some GT5, guys. Nothing else to do in racing life. You can see how the points work. You should know the system by now. And as you can see in Automobilist 2, we go back to our custom championships. The Ginetta G40 is waiting for us here. The next round is already loaded. And I think the opponent's skill at 105 was right? I can't quite remember. I mean, we'll find out after qualifying, I guess. If we just have a look at the points in this championship. And again, apologies for the lack of chat up above. I don't know why that has died, but it's still... It's still work. <laughs> I know, Damo. What's going on here, man? Uh, but yeah, it's still working in my VR headset, so that is fine. That is fine. So that's good. I can still see you when I'm driving. Just died on stream for some reason. Um, point standings. I am currently on 43 points in the GT5 Championship. Edison Freshy is on 30. Davi Simoes is 27. Arthur Martin, no, Arthur Morin is on 25. So it's actually the GT5 series is pretty close here. Very close, actually. So this is a lot closer than Formula V, so I can be less... Uh, Less forgiving on bad results, shall we say. Hmm. Right then. Let's get stuck into it. Let's start this business. Yeah, I feel like I've raced at this circuit quite a bit. And it is good to see that there are some changes on the way to the uh, schedule generation, Ricardo. That's good to know. Although I do like the schedule generation at the moment, but a lot of the circuits do come up quite similarly in the entry level series. Ah, Vushal, good to see you in the stream. That could be uh that could be a project for for yourself, I suspect. Anyway, let's pause that music and let's get out on track because although we are familiar with Cleveland, it doesn't mean we don't don't have to practice. Because you can see on the top of the screen we have a moist track. I can't really see any puddles on the track right here. But it's 42 degrees on the road surface. And with a light cloud on the horizon, I don't think it's going to rain. So, we've got slick tyres. Enough fuel for 18 laps. Let's do this. And thank you so much for sticking with the stream, by the way. I hope you're enjoying it. We're getting through quite a few races today. So if you are, if, if, if this is your thing... Don't forget to leave it a like, say hi in chat. Even though you can't see it on the screen, I can still see it in my headset, so that's nice. And maybe consider subscribing to the channel to catch the next episodes when maybe we won't be just doing GT5 and Formula V races all the time. Next step on the ladder could be Formula 3, could be GT4, could be endurance races, I don't know. That's just racing life, you got to see what, see what gets thrown at you on the schedule. Let's do this. Head and track temps are increasing. Air temperature is now 60. The track temperature is now 44 Celsius. There we go. Car is in. Ignition is on. Oh, it's starting to rain! Okay, Dan. We've seen a few spots of rain. Seems to be increasing. Oh! It's starting to rain, guys! Bit of a... Bit of a shower here. Rains up to 40%. Is there any point continuing this lap? I don't know. 
I mean, let's try it. Its exit is clear. Don't cross the line. We've got. Oh, he's just going to wheel spin all over the place. Your tires are cold. Watch out. Oh no, the rain's going down again. Rain's now down to 25. Be careful. The rain's almost stopped. Just a bit of drizzle now. Oh, maybe it's just a little bit of drizzle at turn one there. Because the track is definitely Stop moist. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 30 Celsius. I think that is a fantastic idea, Marzi. Although, staying out on a wet track on these tyres is definitely not a fantastic idea. Safe rejoin here, let's wait for these guys to go past, there we go. These will be on slicks. Shall we get on a set of wets and just crank a lap out nice and quick? Because I can see a drying line forming already. I do have weather set to uh, realistic in terms of time Still and there. generation. So it shouldn't there. really be changing this quickly. That is a bit odd, because time progression isn't ramped up. It's all on one-to-one, -one. so it's slightly confusing how these tracks get really wet and then really dry. <laughs> I'll just use a bit of carpet offcut for that one, Marzi, for the, for the hairy chest. Unfortunately, that... You're going to be waiting about 20 years if you want to see a genuine one. And even then, I'm going to have to eat a lot, a lot of uh, crusts off loaves of bread. Bit of standing water. What's the AI going to do? Do they come into the pits? A few of them are still going. Now, don't forget, this is practice and qualifying combined. So these lap times... The track temperature is falling. It's now 28 Celsius. These lap times do count. In terms of grid position, no, this this is uh, this is pretty hopeless. This okay, it's starting to oh, it's starting to rain again. Yeah. Return to pit box. Edit setup. Let's get some wet tires on. Let's give it another crack. I could be driving around on a slippy track forever. Air temperatures falling. Here we go. It's now 30 Celsius. Car takes a. Uh, while to start here. Yeah, definitely definitely wet tyres is the way to go because I will have a lot more confidence, a lot more grip uh, trying to stick it out on the uh, on, on the dry tyres on this kind of track especially on this end of the circuit is not going to go well. Exit's clear. Push. Hey, it's Jimmy the Bear. Can I get a big shout out and chat for Jimmy the Bear? Good to see you, man. Hope you're doing well. Decreasing. Air temperatures now 10. Track temperatures now 25 Celsius. So the rain is getting much heavier here. So yeah, I think this is only going to get worse. And the track temp is falling as well, so it's not going to dry out anywhere near as quickly as it as it should. Oh, these wet tires have got so much more grip. He says as he understeers clean off the, towards the side of the road there. 153.61. White gold. <laughs> Keep it away from the edge of the track. You can see big rivers running down the sides. Oh, standing water there. And standing water there. So for that chicane, you have to keep it in tight by the looks of it. There are puddles forming off the racing line. Get this turned in nice and early. Yep, same again here. There's puddles forming outside the racing line. Okay, down. Light rain now. Looks like it's getting better. So much standing water there, pooling. This is all good to know. We can make a dash to the right hand side here, in between those puddles. Because the aquaplaning is real, even on wet tyres. It will spit you off to the side of the road. Air and track temps are decreasing. Air temp is now 8. The track temp is now 23 Celsius. We're back in the Ginetta GT5, Jimmy, for round 3 of 4 of the season here. 13 point lead in the championship. Currently 16th on the grid, but that's because I've not set a lap yet. Very changeable weather conditions here at Cleveland. P3. Although that, for some reason, puts me at P5 on the grid. That must have been timing out the pits. It was. It was timing out the pits. 
Although other cars have not put wet tyres on to do their laps yet. I am second, uh, 10 seconds up on my Delta. I don't think that really counts for much. The leader's just done a 139.70. That's a new fastest lap for Simos, 139.64. We go leaders in the 139s. Don't forget that when it gets to be wet conditions, the AI seem to suddenly find an absolute stack of grip. Clear to the right. Air and track temps are falling. Air temperatures now, six. Track temperatures now. Far left. Still there. Clear left. Just drizzling now. Looks like it'll stop soon. Far left. Drive clean around the outside of me then. Keep it steady. Hold your line. Clear to the left. It looks like it stopped raining. On your left. Hold your line. So that's 11 seconds up, 12 two seconds left. up on my best so far. Left side. He's still there. This is still going to put me miles off the pace though. Still there. Still there. Oh, big still understeer right. then. Sorry mate, right. didn't mean to do that. Oh, and that's going to be the end of my qualifying session because I've just invalidated both laps. That one doesn't count and the next one's not going to count either. I'm going to be starting 14th at best here. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now far left. Still there. Clear left. You're locking up your fronts a lot to be 14. Wow, I am locking up my fronts a lot, aren't I? Oh, this car didn't slow down. It's locked up the fronts. And it does not have adjustable brake bias. Fastest lap for Simos. 139.26. The car does not have adjustable brake bias. So it's not like I can go and shift it to the rear mid-race and adjust to the driving conditions. Wow, this is... Your rear brakes are cold. Be careful. This is a handful, this. Yeah, I think the bias is way too far forwards here. Lots of Fs in chat, and deservedly so. But Brogan is not having much luck in his qualifying sessions today. Holy moly. Oh, big overstay. Yeah, this, this thing is a... This car is awful to drive in the wet here. The AI are absolutely running rings around me. Looks like they're going to be about seven seconds a lap faster than me in these conditions. Oh, there's a big slide there. It's starting to drizzle. Oh, actually, I might just get another lap in depending on when I cross the line. 20 seconds to go. It's going to be close. Right We're getting proper rain now. Looks like it's getting harder. The track temperature's rising. It's now 22 Celsius. If I can cross the line, it's going to be close. If I can get across the line before it hits zero. Temperatures are rising. Come on. Temperature is now 10. The track temperature is now 30 Celsius. Two. One. Oh no, it's two seconds shy of crossing the line to get another lap in. Ah, right then. Bugger. 14th on the grid. Yeah, that's not great. That's not great at all. 14th on the grid. Hmm. So we have full on rain here now. Although this is the morning. Qualifying takes place in the morning and the races take place in the afternoon. So this could change by the time we press progress. So let's continue to the next session. And what conditions have we got for the race? 16, 15 minutes. You really need to get on with it. Okay, we have moist track and an overcast sky with an ambient temperature of 5 degrees and track temperature of 19 degrees. Doesn't look like there's that much moisture on the track at the moment so it would be stupid to start on wet tyres. Actually look at that! Look at the times! Puma P052 have locked out the first six positions on the grid. That's mental! The massive car advantage to the Pumas here for some reason. Anyway, let's edit the setup. Let's put some slick tyres on. And let's just have a pit strategy just in case. Let's delete that because that'll have tyre pressures. Uh, from another series. So let's do an abort strategy basically. So abort, abort, we're coming in for wets. Uh, change tyres all. Match tyre compounds all to be wets. 
Don't want to add any fuel. And we want to basically turn off all the damage repairs as well. There we go. So this is our backup pit strategy. <laughs> I need to pick myself up by my spandex and have a red hot go. Yeah, that is true, Jimmy. That is true. It's, um... It was possible in the previous round. You know, I started 14th, uh, started 22nd and won the race. Although I think it might be slightly different today. Oh, I didn't say, I didn't press save, I pressed back. Bugger. Let's do that again. Good job, I've created quite a lot of pit strategies. Now, fuel and tires, all wet. And no fuel. Damage is off. Right, and save. Make sure you press save. 23 seconds to change the set of ties. So we have our strategy ready. That's our default. Okay, we're good. Uh, 18 laps should be more than enough for this race. Ultimate shine car detailing. Oh, shine! The sh Oh, the shine. Ah, from Thermalito. I'm glad you had a great time, mate. I think we all had a great time. That was an awesome race. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining in. It's a shame it happens once a year at Thermalito, but there will be more community events in the meantime, so stay tuned for that. But thank you for taking part, mate, and massive congrats to making it to the end of the race. That was no easy achievement. And to anybody who joined, not just the Shine, anybody who raced at Thermalito at the weekend, thank you. That was very special. Although, that was DDF, that wasn't Bulk, so Bulk has no idea what Thermalito is, so... How far do you want to take this? <laughs> How far do I want to take this persona? Alright, 15 minutes with a moist track and over tra overcast sky, starting on dry tyres. My pit strategy's ready. I am actually, I got bumped down to 16th place on the grid in the end then. Because other people must have set time, so it is another last to first challenge. Okay, right. Wish me luck. 16th place. Okay, down. Are you ready? Watch for the lights. Rolling start here in the GT5s, of course. I just have a feeling it's going to rain. Go, go, go. A decent start there. Thanks for sure. Clear right, right side. Rewind, you're the one. Hold your line. Big send around the outside, right. up to 12th. Thanks, Marzi. Thanks, Adam. Everybody just trying to be gentle on the inside there. I'll take those spots, thank you very much. Oh yeah, bit of moisture on the on the apex of those corners there. Got to be careful. The track is still damp from qualifying. Start. Not completely dry here. It's reacting to those brake lights up ahead. And yes, bulk broken van series. Definitely, he definitely needs his own livery, doesn't he? Left side. Oh, bit of bit bit of slip sliding here. Yeah, that wasn't an overtake. There wasn't any kind of overlap there, but there is now. Keep it steady. What side? Gonna go for another one. Give him room on the outside. Bit of a fishtail out. They're still there. Still there. There we go. Up to fourth gear, heading towards the final chicane for the first time. Still there. Nice. Clear left. Got him. Take up side. Clear left. Whoa! You're on the right. That was cheeky. That was cheeky from Phil Reynolds there. Clear left. Get the drive out. Up to tenth. On your left. Clear to the left. They're trying it. They're trying to get me on the inside here. Still there. Clear right. 
On your right, clear to the right. Got to chop that nose off, thank you very much. Watch the moisture on the inside right here. Side. Hold your line. Got to get very line. defensive here, stop these guys from getting past. I'm going to try and make up some spots. Very fortunate that these uh, GT5 races are actually 15 minutes instead of the usual 10 here. Obviously we are moving up the ranks in racing life. The races are becoming less of a sprint format, although 15 minutes is still pretty sprinty. It's raining! The rain starts to come down. We're seeing a few spots of drizzle now. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 17 Celsius. We've got a bit of rain now. Looks like it's getting harder. Okay, it's top requested. We're coming in. Oh, damn. Come on, mate. Defend your position. We're getting proper rain now. Oh! Looks like it's getting harder. Watch your speed. I think the car's okay. I think the car's okay. It was bounced off the the tyres there. We're going to come in for the wets. I'm just going to commit straight away. No damage repairs, of course, just tyres. Cars should be fine. Let's put those wets on. The other people are going to struggle on the dries now. <laughs> JDF, thanks for that. Uh, just a smite, slight bonk there, near hey. Tyres are good. We're done, go, go. The windscreen wipers. We got the wipers and the lights going full blast now. Although there is a slight offset in the steering there. Oh, okay, we'll see. We'll see when we get back out on track. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. All clear on pit exit. We need to get some heat into these brakes. Oh wow, visibility has just dropped. Massively! Baron is now leading. There's definitely a little bit of uh, wonkiness in the steering here, guys, that's for sure. Let's see what happens. Does anyone else bother coming in the pits? Surely they'd have to. Surely they'd have to. There's no way you can stay on dry tyres in this. Okay, down to 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. The leader, Baron, is pitting. Okay, so we've got other guys coming in the pits now to change tyres. Fortunately, being a few positions back, I had the luxury of extra decision making time there. There's a very quick decision to come into the pits and change onto wets. We are closing on the guys ahead. Is it going to be a net gain though? We'll see. Still a hell of a lot of understeer in this car. Oh, lots of water on the outside there. Need to brake early for that final chicane. There's a lot of people in the pits there. Coming, man. This is great. Me too. Miss that apex a mile. You're locking your front right wheel. Air temperature's decreasing. It's now one Celsius. Oh wow, it's almost freezing here. This is going to be ice in a minute. Never mind rain. Looks like we got one hero, Ivo Zanetti, out at the front, staying out on dry tires. Unless. They made a master pit stop strat and somehow gained 15 seconds on everybody else. Got eight minutes left to go in the race. Guy behind Arthur Martin or Marin is only two and a half seconds back. Or maybe they started on wets indeed. That would be quite a strat by the AI.
Yeah, I think the guy ahead did definitely not come into the pits. We are gaining a lot, but the guy behind has gained two seconds on me this lap. The AI definitely have an advantage in wet conditions here. Massive advantage. Remember, brake early. The leader, Zanetti, is pitting. Right side. Oh, oh drifting right. it out. They're on the wet stuff out there. So Zanetti comes into the pits. Yep, they were on dry tyres. You're leading. That lap was a 146.18. That's your fastest lap. Wow. Maybe I have got some kind of damage here. All right. Hold your line. Clear right. Maybe I've got some kind of damage because this car just does not want to slow down. You're right. These Pumas. Man, these Pumas are line. so much faster. Right. You're clear. This is an unfair advantage here. Car in front of us is Gonzaga. If it's Ginetta v Ginetta, it's not too, not too bad. Wow, very aggressive Pumas as well. It's been nudged twice on this first lap. Very big hits as well. Still there. Hold your line. Keep it steady. AI definitely getting the railbows out here in this race. These Pumas. Don't let this guy distract you. The Ginettas just don't have a hope in the rain. Wow. Although, is that a Ginetta up ahead of me? I can't quite tell. I know the Pumas have got open roofs. I'm being left for dead, guys. Car right. Yep, they're all Pumas. Right. Down to fifth now. Brett Nagel up ahead of me. Yeah, it's hemorrhaging time. I'm not exactly sure where either. Hopefully I can stick with them. They just went straight through the puddle there. Left side. Hold your line. Clear to the left. On your left. Don't outbreak myself. Break at the five. There we go. We gained a spot. Actually gained a spot. Lots of standing water here. Wait for it to settle. And then we go through. Five minutes left in this race. Up to fourth. That Deutsche Post podium money is so tantalizingly... So tantalizingly close. Gonzaga is now in the lead. The gap in front has increased to 1.7. Okay, down five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Oh, they're having a bit of a ding dong up there. Wow. Oh, big standing water there. Clear right. Big standing water. Had to basically right go side. full lock to save that. Clear right. Hands all over the wheel. Left side. Hold your line. He's still there. Still there. The rain is definitely starting to ease now. It's down to 22%. We might have a drying track by the end of the race. We'll see. Podium's getting further away. Looks like it's the battle for fourth. Wow, this car is all over the place. Stop raining. All right, four minutes to go, 0% rain. Let's go get some. Eight seconds to Edison Freshy behind. There's a bit of drizzle starting. Push, 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 or we'll lose this place. We've got light rain right here, getting harder. They're consistently slow on the straights here. Let's try a dive. Proper rain now. Looks like it's getting harder. On your left. Old Clear left. The old block pass. Your lap time was at 145.93. Good lap. That's your best in the session. Now we seem to have a bit of a run here. We dropped the guy behind a bit. Keeping it off the standing water here. Podium could be back on the menu. I reckon we've got two laps to go at this rate. Ah, the Puma is from wheel drive. That corner is so sketchy. There is literally no safe line. Clear to the right. Because it's just a river. Barrett is now in the lead. 
You can hear it there. All right, let's go for a quiet lap. The rare Bulk Brogan quiet lap. This isn't a DDF quiet lap. I need to really concentrate on this now, guys. Clear right. So, let's concentrate. All right. Let's go quiet. Let's see if we can get a podium. All right. With two laps to go. Still there. Enjoy the sounds. Clear to the right. Come on, don't let him get away. Right side, clear right. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. Well done, Dan. Far left. Keep it steady. Three wide, you're on the right. Left side, clear left. Ah, oh, stuff that quiet lap, that's the lead of the race! To answer your question there, LPF Adam, looks like they... they do struggle with the standing water. They can drive over it without that many grip loss issues, but they just lose so much time. All right, just be careful here now. Standing water, standing water. Go wide to avoid it, and then accelerate. Yeah, they're losing time in the standing water massively. Oh, big oppo then. It's very slippy here, as you can see. But they just bog down on the straights. The front-wheel drive must bog down. There is no safe way through it. So although this this Ginetta is sketchier, it has more speed through the standing water, whereas the Pumas, the front-wheel drive is kind of helping them get through the puddles, but it's not fast. So I've got half a second. Somehow, we managed to overtake four people on the start-finish line last time around. So we've got one lap to go when we cross the line. We have a half a second advantage or on your less than that now. Stick going for a dive. There. Going for a dive. Hold your line. Clear left. Now watch them. Watch them bog down behind now. Look at them. They're driving through the puddles. They're like three seconds back now. Fourth place has dropped. One more lap for the win. Come on. Oh, there's a hell of a dive there! It's not raining so heavily now. Seems to be improving. Defend the inside. Right side. Clear right. But well, we can't. We push wide. Back look down. Come on, don't let him get away. Standing water. Stop raining. Lots of standing water. Back down to second. Battle for the lead with Brett Nagel on the last lap again. What is it with battles for first place on the last lap in this one. Racing Life series? Still there. Oh, standing water. Still there. Clear left, left side. Clear to the left. So much standing water. Gap ahead is a second. Ah, oh, that's it. I think we stuffed it there. But there's nothing I could do. I was offline, guys. Let's hopefully... Can we keep it on the podium? Guy behind breathing down my neck here. This is for $3,000. Left side. Clear left. Right side, clear right. Right side, clear to the right. Let's hold that inside nice and tight. They got the run. I think they've got the run. Right. Oh, they've got the run on me. Down to third. Line. Clear right. I've got to keep that guy behind me in the pink car. Behind. That's for $3,000. That's my Deutsche Post prize money on the line right now. Far left. Best form of defense is attack. Clear on the left. Car right. No! No, 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 this is for third. Clear right. I pushed him into the standing water and I've managed to defend it. Woo! Woohoo! Great drive. That, that wasn't really blocking. That wasn't really blocking. That was just clever placement of the car. Because the AI have done that to me on several occasions. Still there. Where they forced me onto the wet parts of the track. And I was just returning the favour, right pushing wide on the outside into the final, well, steady. on the final right. straight. Just held on to third place. Managed to keep my podium. 
Doppler left. Managed to keep my $3,000 prize money. And that's another thing I like about racing life, is these objectives. You know, it's not like, oh, it doesn't matter if I finish third or fourth. It, without racing life, it'd have been like, oh, whatever, I finished fourth. Whereas there was so much on the line with that one position. It just gives it context. It just gives it meaning. It's just like, okay, well, now I've got to fight for that because it really means something. I love it. <laughs> I love this little app. Racing life has just completely transformed it. On your right. Keep it steady. To the point Clear right. where I'm actually happy to be racing against the AI in Automobilist 2. Like, let's be honest, we all know that AI in Automobilist 2 isn't perfect. Hold your line. Clear right. It's going to have weird pace differentials in different weather conditions. It's going to try some funky moves every now and then. It's, it's just going to do strange things. But here we are in racing life. Actually enjoying it. I think I've got some hiccups there. Even Bolt gets the hiccups, guys. Nope, they're gone. They're good. Now, if it wasn't for that little bonk into that pit wall there, without the damage on the car and without those few seconds lost, could have maybe been a different story. But who knows? We had to fight for that. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. Anyway, let's bring it back to the pits. Let's escape and let's add up the points. Confirmation of the results. Brett Nagel won. Matthew Bahagia. Buhagia? Buhagia? I'm not sure you say that. In second place. Myself on the podium. Now, how does this affect the championship? Because there was quite a few people in the championship and we're all on different kind of points. So, how does how does this all stack up? Let's continue. So, congratulations again, Brett Nagel on the win. Points-wise, we are looking pretty. Oh, actually, Matthew, the guy you finished ahead of me, has, um, yeah, jumped up a few points in the standings there. And uh, Brett Nagel was actually... That was his first points of the season, the American in the Puma. Old Mr. Brett there. Well, his first points happened to be a win, so that's propelled him up to seventh in the standings. So, I'm still at the top. I have... So, okay, because these GT5 uh, races are 50 minutes long, but there's, l there's less of them in the season. There's only four rounds instead of six compared to the Formula V. So basically... I have a 39, 49, I have a 19 point lead heading into the final round of the season, which is going to be at Virginia Grand, a circuit that I am not really looking forward to because it's got about 50 million corners on it. So, uh, qualified in 16th and finished in 3rd. So let's continue back to the menu and let's put some points into racing life. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So, click on Advance. This is the final race that we had in May. We've done our two Formula V races, and now we have a GT5 American Cup. So, qualification result was 16th, and the race result was 3rd. So, finish, and we earned 0.15 fame, and $3,375 in prize money. So, once again, keeping Deutsche Post happy, we got five races left with his sponsor okay so fame is still on 11 because it doesn't display uh decimal points in fame it's uh it's 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 not like that it doesn't give you the 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 specifics of where it's at it's just like the integer basically experience is up at 26 46 thousand dollars 345 oh, sorry 46 thousand 345 dollars in the bank that's more like it 16 races, 3 poles, 11 podiums, 7 wins. Uh, we click on Advance. We've got no more registered races to take part with in May. There's nothing else we can sign up with to race in. So I reckon we just skip ahead to June. Oh, you can still check the decimals on the options pages if you want. I never knew that. Oh, there we go. Alright, so 
you learn something new every day. On the options page, there is actually the decimal places for fame. So I'm on 11.338 fame, as you can see down here on the bottom of the screen. Thanks, Ricardo. It's the perks of having the developer in chat, I guess. <laughs> All right. So we got cars in the garage. We need both of these for next month. So unfortunately, we do have to continue paying the lease on them. Uh, we don't need any loans because we're doing alright. Sponsors all looked after. We've got five races left for them. It's pretty straightforward. Nothing to do. So just advance and let's go into June. Ding! We're now in June. And we have three races to do. We've got the American Formula V Championship. And we've got the Formula... That's not the Formula. The GT5. So, GT5 is a season finale and that's the races that we've just done there and that is going to be at Virginia Grand however we also have the American Formula V Championship which is going to be at Autodromo Yawakocha and then Virginia International Raceway Grand so we are now faced with another situation where well what do we do so I'm going to create another vote in chat for you guys I'm going to create another poll so start a poll uh, which series next obviously you can type your well you can select your votes basically so we're going to do formula v or gt5 and boom there we go the poll is now live in chat so let me know what you want to see next it's currently 9 55 p.m here in brisbane australia i'm probably going to keep the stream going for another hour or so so, um, I don't know. We'll see, guys. If we do the GT5, obviously, I might call it a night after that. But if we do the American Formula V Championship, I might do both races. Because they're only 10 minutes as opposed to 15. We'll see. We'll see, guys. Uh, so, Formula V is Autodrome Yawakocha and Virginia Grand. And then GT5 is just Virginia Grand. So let me know. You get two races in Formula V, but in GT5, you get a 15 minute title decider. It's your choice, guys. You can vote for it in chat. We've got 14 votes so far, and it is literally 50 50. I don't know if it's coming up in. Ch oh, actually, there's no chat coming up at all. Let me try refreshing that chat box, shall we? Let's refresh that cache. Yeah, let that tash flow in the open wheeler. <laughs> well, it's 14 votes and it's still 50-50, so we're gonna need someone to uh someone to settle on a decider. I think it's got to that point in the stream where my stash is starting to disintegrate now. And it's def I can definitely feel it on the back of my throat. Oh, we got 15 votes, and it swung it in the favour of uh, swung it in the favour of the GT5s. And we got 16 votes, and it swung it back into 50-50 again. You guys literally can't decide what I want to do next. Donk, how goes it, mate? Now I'm going well. I'm going well. Um, yeah, swallowing my moustache, but I am enjoying the shirt. Um, it's actually two dollars, believe it or not. Literally two dollars. Fantastic, isn't it? I'm definitely going to be wearing this on Christmas Day. Because don't forget, here in Australia, Christmas Day is like 40 degrees, 90% humidity. Uh, 40 degrees Celsius, that is. Oh, we're up to 19 votes in the chat now. And it is swinging back in favour of the GT5 series. <laughs> you too, Donk. You too, mate. Right back at you, sir. Love you. Now, this is... um. This is Bulk Brogan's finest. Actually, if you want to see the full Bulk Brogan look, let me just let me just furnish these. Now I can't read chat at all. That's the full Bulk Brogan look. <laughs> all right, I think let's have a look. So chat is the chat vote is at 19, and it is 53% in favour of the GT5. 47% in favour of the Formula in favour of the Formula V. 
uh, missing the carpet chest. Uh, I haven't got anything I can use as like a. I mean, I could use the end of uh, the, Slo uh, the Slovakia scarf, but then it'd be white. It wouldn't really make sense. Need some bling as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm missing the extra accessories. Although I do have some incredibly fashionable new headwear on the way for the next stream. Hopefully, if it turns up in time. I ordered it from Wish.com, and that is all you need to know. Alright, so I don't think we're getting any more votes in chat to decide what we're going to race next, but just to avoid any cries of favoritism, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a timer on. So we have a timer for oh, what? How many? How many should we do? One minute. Okay, we got a timer for one minute, there, guys. When this timer reaches zero, the vote is officially over. You can see it. It's not focusing. Why is it not focusing? Come on, focus! There we go. Alright, that's our timer, guys. When that reaches zero, the vote is officially over, and I am calling it. So we're currently... ...on... ...53% in favor of the GT5. That's literally one vote. So 19 people have voted, and 10 have voted for GT5, 9 have voted for Formula V. And uh, just to remind you, GT5 has a 15-minute race at Virginia International Raceway Grand. It's the final race of the season. It's a 15-minute race, and it could basically be a... Well, it is a championship decider. However, the Formula V has two races. But they're only 10 minutes long. No one else has voted. That's it. Okay, vote's over. We're doing GT5. Democracy has spoken. And if there's one thing that Bulk Brogan respects... Well, I mean, does Bulk Brogan respect democracy? I guess so. That's what we're doing anyway. Let's get the camera back in focus again. Right then, let's get these off because I actually need to see what I'm doing. And again, thank you everybody for tuning in. It is great to see you here. I hope you're enjoying whatever this stream is turning into. If you are, don't forget to leave a like, say hi in chat, and subscribe to see the next installment of the series where hopefully we race more than Formula V and GT5. I mean, to be honest with you, we could do Formula V after this, just depends how I'm feeling. I mean, it's 10pm here in Brisbane. I did have quite a big day in work today, so I'm feeling a little bit tired. So we'll see how we go. So, Virginia International Raceway, 100% race distance at 15 minutes and opponent skill of 105. Should we leave the opponent skill as is? Yeah, let's leave it as is. So, 19 point lead. So as long as I finish like 5th or 6th or higher, it should be fine. <laughs> Jimmy, don't think the net could handle holding that tash up for three races. Well, I've already done... I've already done three races. This would be race number four today. These races are flying by very quickly. So, let me just confirm in racing life then. Uh, finances, yep, we've paid for our cars this month. We've paid for our leases. We've got our sponsors ready to go. Deutsche Post, we've got five races left on that. $375 a race, $3,000 bonus for the podium. We've got our Ginetta G40 ready to go. And we have our championship lined up at Virginia International Race. We're going, yep. Not much more to do, really. Apart from switch it over to Automobilista 2 again. And go racing. Right. There we go. Yeah, 19-point lead from Matthew Bahagia. 20-point lead from Edison Freshy. 21-point lead from Artem Marin. And Davi Simoes. Well, if Davi wins and I don't score points, he could still win. So basically, five people in the championship fight. Simoes, Marin, Freshy, and Buhagia. Let's do this. <laughs> Donk. A gin on the rocks. Somewhere up here. Well, I mean, there's, there's a beer sock here. A Castrol beer sock. And again, thank you to Sticky for these. 
It's awesome. I mean, there's two Castrol beer socks. You got your traditional one, and then you've got that one which goes over the top. So love your work, Sticky. Thank you for sending those again. You're an absolute legend, mate. I'm getting quite the collection here. I've got a scarf from Boggy. I've got a wheel from Anse 3D. Uh, Castrol merch. Tim Tams, Jeffa Cakes, all sorts of stuff. Gravel Trap Legends, Ozzins and Sim Racing. It's, but yeah, no, no gin on the rocks, which is the point you're making. Anyway, these GT5s are loud. So we got a dry track and clear weather, nice temperatures, no clouds in the sky whatsoever. I think it's going to be nice and dry here. So time to get on with it because it's going to be a long lap and I don't really know my way around the infield that well. So let's do this. My button box is playing up, I think. It's registering double presses for some reason. It's taken ages to start the engine. Anyway, first gear. The Virginia. Here we come. Now, I know the normal layout of Virginia quite well. Air track temperatures are increasing. Air temp is now 21. The track temperature is now 48 Celsius. Your exit's clear. Don't cross the white line. OK, Dan, we've got eight minutes to get the job done. Your brakes are cold. We need to get some heat into them. Cold tires all around. Thank you, Spotter. Nice comprehensive update there. But yeah, I know the standard layout of Virginia quite well, having raced virtual Le Mans series here a few years ago in our Factor 2. But I'm not overly familiar with the infield layout. I've seen it on a few Matt Malone videos over in iRacing. I know it's very twisty, very tight, so I'm going to have to learn pretty quickly. But I do love this circuit. VIR is just... It's one of those magic places that is an absolute pain in the ass to learn how to drive initially because there's so many weird corners. But once you get the hang of it... Temperatures are rising. Air temperatures now. Oh, it's great. Track temp is now 51 Celsius. A custom-built circuit. It's just fantastic. It really is a fantastic circuit. As we approach Speedy Mike Corner here... GT5 is all about momentum and not scrubbing the tyres too much. Now here, we would normally go straight down towards Nick the Silver Corner. However, there's going to be a braking point somewhere. We're going to be going to the right. Where is it? Where is this braking? Is it here? Yeah, it's here. I've never done this corner before, so I just want to get used to it. I know it's basically a hairpin. Which takes us on the infield back the other way. Probably go down to second gear for that. We've got lots of blind crests as the... Someone turned the lights out very briefly. Oh, wow. Yep. Yep. I completely forgot about that corner. Magic. Okay, so that is a very blind crest. Need to turn in a lot early for that one. Oh, and there's another blind crest there as well. Jeez. <laughs> Got an unsportsmanlike conduct warning for that. Now, I know this part of the circuit. Because I raced the short layout here in the Hot Cars Championship. Air and track temps are decreasing. Air temp is now 21. The track temperature is now 48 Celsius. Yeah, I really need to get a little bit more familiar with this circuit, guys. Five minutes left in the practice session is uh, cutting it a bit fine, shall we say. Oh, all right, John, I've, uh, I've ne yeah, I need, I need to get familiar with it, mate. <laughs> that line will do for bulk. Um, well, I don't think the race stewards appreciate that. So let's try and remember again which way the track goes next time we go around. Like I said, I know the outfield. I'm just not overly familiar with the infield. Down to second. Patience, patience, patience. Should have kept it a bit tighter then. But you want to get back to the apex 
here. Air and track temps then swing it in gently. Now 14. The track temperatures now 41 Celsius. Then use third gear, use the momentum. Pop it down to second for this. Five minutes. Nice and tight. You want to keep it to the left. So then you can use the camber, swing it around to the right. You want to turn in early for this so you don't have to lift out of it too much. And then you can straight line these. Very easy to get a cut track on the left there. Excuse me. Pop it up to fifth. And these are almost flat. There's a little lift for this one. Because you need to you don't want to understeer to the left, you want to keep it to the right here. So you can then maximize your speed through here. It goes light over the crest. Awkward little braking zone. Because you're braking, turning and downshifting. Very easy Air and track temps are falling. to Air run wide there. The track temp is if you get on the grass, you miss the apex. Uh, I think it's Oak Corner, is it, I think? I think it might not be laser scan Vushal, but I'm happy to be corrected. Oh, I broke there last time and... Okay, Dan, we're seeing lots of front locking. Big understeer on the grass. That was my braking point last time, it just didn't seem to slow down that time. Very strange. Car is fine, no damage. Just the bonk. I mean, this lap's not really going to count anyway. Just done 3.07.2. Remember, nice big crest here, break at the three. Nice and turn in. Big lock up. It's still not enough. Wow. Okay, break break even earlier next time around. Three minute lap, three minutes seven. Yeah. The leader's just done three oh six. Very long laps here. No, it goes to the right, Dan. Right. <laughs> no markers for that at all. That was very deceiving. So I made exactly the same mistakes I made last time around. I'm not giving myself much of an opportunity to learn this circuit. It's literally going to be three laps worth of practice. Yeah, John Miller, very good point. At least I'm being consistent. A lot of uh, bot-ass lawn mowing services in full effect here, as pointed out by Ricardo. It's going to be a tricky one to get up to speed. Although, in the race, it might be a little bit easier following other cars. <laughs> seeing brake lights and seeing the train up ahead slow down, that'll give me an indication. Okay, we've got to turn left now, Dan. Bulk? Got to turn left now, Bulk. Not Dan. Dan would get this straight away. You know? He'd be fine. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. So this is definitely going to be my last lap in the session. And it looks like I might be starting from the last row of the grid again. For the third race in a row today. At least the tyres are nice and warm now. See, that's why you want to lift off on the first section. Otherwise, you have to lift off in the second. Then you hemorrhage all this time down the straight. I was a couple of tenths up. Six seconds off the pace. And now I'm a couple of tenths down. Uh, those percentages in the bottom right of the screen, Donk, they are my CPU in white and GPU usage in green. Green for NVIDIA, obviously. Um, they are... A relic of a bygone era when I was doing test streams every other day because my computer kept on crashing. I just haven't got rid of them off the overlay, to be honest. Probably should. Chuba, hello! And yet, as Ricardo says, the one on the far right is local time for me here in Brisbane. Increase Air temp is now 14. Track temperature is now 41 Celsius. Okay, so I'm half a second down on what I did before. Avoided the lock up, put it down to second. There we go, didn't go into the tyre fence that time. The leader has just done 306.6. Remember, break early, crest on the left.
Hey, I made it. No, I didn't make it. Oh, bugger. <laughs> it's a right-hander there. I missed it again. That corner is so deceptive. There's absolutely no markings to tell you that you need to go blind over the right. So many corners to remember here. Yeah, I'm going to be starting from the back row of the grid. Jeez, okay. Right. Uh, any chance of a restart? Does Bulk get a bit more of a practice session considering he's not set up a flying lap here and he literally doesn't know where the track's going? And this is a championship decider as well. Do you guys... Do you have a little bit of leniency here, please? <laughs> do I get a restart? Olaf saying no restart. Olaf is saying no restart. Uh, Donk is saying maybe yes. Colin is saying restart. Olaf is saying books on the pace every race. Well, I mean, the thing is, I'm going to be starting from the back of the grid, right? There's a championship on the line here, uh, John Miller. That's the thing, right? What do you reckon? As soon as I press continue to race one, that is it. I do not get the chance to restart. Tuba says restart. Colin says restart. Luke says restart. Marzi says no. Uh, Niehe says, I should be better following the car for a few laps so you can get used to the... Yes, I can follow the other cars in the race. However, it's the race. And, yeah, there's a championship on the line here. John Miller says restart. Dimitri says, nope, no restart. I think we should probably set a vote for this. I think we should probably set a vote because it's hard to keep track. So, uh, chat, start a poll. I'm really using this poll feature today, right? Uh, restart question mark. Yes. Or no. Alright, the poll is now live, guys. In the chat. There is now a vote. And this is going to go... I'm going to put another timer for a minute on this one, okay? There we go, we got another timer for a minute. We got a restart 60 percent. Yes, it is democracy in action, guys. I've got to let you decide, right? I can't just keep track of your votes in my head. I've got to let you actually decide. Uh, sorry, Ricardo, I was answering that question before, but I got distracted by trying to concentrate on which way the track goes. Uh, do I have all of my overlays in VR? And if so, are they static or do they move with the head movement? Uh, no. The overlays that you see on the screen do not pop up in my VR headset. They're purely for broadcasting purposes only. Uh, I have a... basically where the, the sunroof... not the sunroof... Uh, the, it's like the shade on the top of the windscreen that keeps the sun out, like where the sponsor goes. What's the name of that? Well, basically in that point, right? In, in that part of the VR, I've got a window pinned that's got basic telemetry and chat. So I, that's what I see in VR. I don't know if there's a way of showing you. Oh, it's finished. Votes finished. Okay, in the visor. That's the one. So, 21 votes, 57% in favor of restarting. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> okay, let's restart. In the eyebrows of the... Yes, Donk! The, the sun visor, the eyebrows. Okay, we're going to restart this practice session. And we're going to follow another car out on track. That's how we're going to do it. That's how we're going to learn here. This is the only way to learn. 
Because I need a fighting chance at least. All right, guys, come on. <laughs> Dex is clear. Stay behind the white line. We've got nine minutes to settle up. Your brakes are cold. Be careful. Your tires are cold. Watch out. All right. Clear right. I just need to get used to these two corners. Hey, Tuba. There's two corners that I'm consistently missing. I just really need to get those, because if I don't, I'm going to be running off track and getting penalties every lap of the race. Which, to be fair, there's literally probably only going to be like four or five laps in the race, but that's not the point. <laughs> it's not like I'm trying to do a joker lap or anything, you know? So my breaking point for the hairpin on the back straight needs work. My fast left crest needs work, and then I'm missing that blind right hander in the final sector. This is perfect. We're following another Ginetta as well, so we're a match on pace. No, go! Go! I want to follow you! Go! I'm not trying to overtake you! <laughs> Air and track temperatures are increasing. Air temperature is now 23. The track temperature is now 51 Celsius. Alright then. Break just before the markers here. Yep. We're breaking before the five. Down to third. Down to second. Oh, very tight there. Clear right. Very tight on exit. Swing it to the right. Okay. One of the AI braking here. They're braking at three. Very heavy braking. You're locking your front left tire a lot. And they're braking immediately here again because this is tighter than it looks. Okay, cool. I think I've got that now. Where's the braking marker for this one? Of the orange cones. Oh, it's not even that sharp of a turn, but it's just completely blind. Wow, that, those S's. I really like that now. That's a great sequence of corners. Now that I actually know where the hell I'm going. That's flat-ish. This is kind of over the crest-ish. Wow, these, if you can get the line right, this is actually really fast. Oh, my chat just caught up all at once. Right, I think I'm getting there now. I think, like you guys said, following another car is definitely the way to go. I think I've got this. Air and track temps are decreasing. Air temperatures now 21. Track temperatures now 48 Celsius. Big upper on the way out. Get those rear tires nice and hot. Not that they need to be heated up any more than they currently are. It's currently 45 degree track temp. Let's power it out. Down to second, keep it in nice and tight for this. To the left and then swing it to the right. Very Lime Rock Park, those two corners. Just reminds me of Lime Rock Park heaps. Now we've got the run in the first sector through all the twisty high speed stuff. Hopefully this Ginetta doesn't get in the way too much. Bit of a lift here. We are getting held up now, which is a bit ironic. Air and track temps are falling. Air temperatures now 14. Track temperatures now. Don't run it wide. Alright, Dan. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. Don't run it wide onto the grass into speedy my bend. Little bonk on the back of the car ahead there. Now the run down the back straight. Brake just before the five. On your way. It's a fifth gear. There's a little five Still marker there. here. We need to break just before it. Still there. 
Oh, big lock up on the front left. It gets tight on the on the exit here. It tightens up. That's a tightening radius corner. All right. They're going to get me on the outside. Break at three. Down to second, nice and tight. Clear right. You're clear. And then we break here. Track Late apex. Is now okay. Track is now 39 Celsius. And we need to start aiming towards the cones here. Yep. Oh no, that's going to be a cut track. Need to take less speed there. Yeah, that's a cut track. Oh, too confident, Dan. Too confident. So I just need to go through there with less speed. I thought it was a lot faster last time. I remember thinking it was a lot faster, at least anyway. That's not a kind of car you... It's not a kind of corner you can judge. You really need to know what you're doing. The leader has just done a 306. Car brakes like a truck. <laughs> Bushel. Race room would like to know like to know your location, mate. A bit dusty on the left hand side of the track there. front has just done a 310.7 Oh, a little bit wiggly on the rear then. It's kind of like a Bilsterberg's style feeling track. I'll give you that one, Olaf. It is very Bilsterberg-y. Bulksterberg. <laughs> yeah. That comment wins chat immediately. Everybody can just pack up and go home. No, Vushel's won it. Vushel's won it. Bul just two minutes the two minutes to go. Right, we've got no one in our immediate sights to follow. This is the true test of whether we know the inner loop or not now. No more restarts available after this, guys. And this is going to be qualifying lap as well. So it has to count. Bit late on the brakes, but I think I got away with it. Remember, it gets tighter. Tighter apex and then launch it out. Keep it to the right. Up to fourth, break at the three. Down to second. Tip it in. It's tighter than you expect. Lean over the top. Don't need third gear, but need to break. Need to break. Like apex and run it out. There we go. Okay, now tip it over. On the brakes. On the brakes. That's it. That's it. Slalom style. We're a second down on our lap that we set last time, but that's because we cut the track. And track temps are increasing. Air temperature is now 40. The track temperature is now 41 Celsius. I think I'm getting there, guys. I think we have a valid lap on the board. You're kidding me! Outside track limits. You are kidding me! Oh, In the middle. Ooh. Left side, clear to the left. I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. Jeez. <laughs> I am such a danger on the track indeed. I was trying to collect the spin. 
Oh, okay, well, the restart counted for absolutely nothing in the end of that one, guys. So I'm going to be starting from the back of the race anyway. So what weather do we have? We have dry and clear conditions. We can see it's a mix of Ginettas and Pumas on the circuit this time, at least, anyway. Let me make sure I've not got my wet tyres on. Yep. I think I actually pushed my chair back out of alignment then. I need to... Have a look at the before and after on stream. I think I pushed my chair back. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Uh, why did I have to do a restart, Olaf? The restart was basically just to get a little bit more familiar. Um, karma set in for the restart and made me start from the back of the grid anyway. But at least now I know where I'm going. So, with a championship on the line, I need to finish... Like, ideally, I need to finish fifth to get 10 points. Is it uh, 25, 18... 15, 12, 10. Yep. Yeah. Basically because I've got a 19 point... Is that right? 19 point... I need to score 6 points. I don't know. Basically, I need I need to not finish last. I need, to, I need to get some solid points. The higher up the field I can get, the better. To score any chance of retaining this championship. The point... There's so many points permutations because there's 5 different people who could win this one. Hey, Donny! Good to see ya! Good to see ya, Donny! Top of the morning to you. So tempting to do that in an accent, but I, re I restrained. So, yeah, 15 minutes, starting from the back of the grid, because Bulk Brogan is an absolute uh, waste of space in terms of qualifying sessions today. <laughs> Colin Burton fit a sat-nav. Yes, that's a great idea, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, let's just, let's just send it as far as we can up the field. With Deutsche Post, of course. Shout out to the sponsors for my uh, racing life career at the moment. And then let's just see what the points get. But this is my championship to lose, basically. So, I want to thank you all for watching. And I want to encourage you to leave the stream a like, say hi in chat, and also subscribe to see more adventures of Bulk Brogan through Racing Life in Automobilist 2. Anyway, headset on. Rolling start. Let's do this, guys. Wish me luck. <laughs> Hammer away! Starting from the back of the grid! 15 minutes to try and retain our lead at the top of the standings. Obviously no restarts available. Three wide, you're on the right. Going in hot to the first corner. We're all round. If racing driver and gap and all that. Alright John Miller, look after yourself mate. Left side. Say hi to your Previous self, or oh, say hi to your future self Hold in chat. He's still there. Got sense at the inside there. Hold line. Gonna hold it. Bit of oppo. Still oh, there. getting mugged. Clear left. Managed to hold on to it though. Up to 14th after the first few corners. I heard you did crack open a Foster's on stream the other day, Donny. Very disappointed in you. Oh, someone did anyway. Someone cracked open a Foster's. I'm pretty sure it was yourself. I was going to get sent up the inside then, so I the covered, line. defended the inside, ended up gaining a spot out of it, up to 13th. Very long lap here, I think we're only going to get five laps out of this today. That guy's breaking late, uh, breaking early, sorry, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Very tight on the apex here, got him, 12th. Points are down to 10th position. Track temps are decreasing. Air temp is now 25. Track temp is now 51 Celsius. Very hot track here today. Oh! On your right. Bit of a bump and run. Sorry, mate. Still there. Clear to the right. Mm. 
It's a strange layout indeed. It's taken me a few laps to get used to, that's for sure. Lots of blind corners. Get the car right. Clear, clear to the right. Just poke my nose at the inside just in case. Now this isn't looking good for points, guys. Because there's a bit of a gap forming to the cars ahead now. Oh, M Mr. Green's gone sideways, though. Temperatures now. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that's Mooney GT. Celsius. We got the run now. This is going to be 10th. Still there. Hold your line. So yeah, there's a bit of a gap to the major point scoring positions. Defend that inside. I could see Green trying to send it there. This is ninth, eight, seven, six. Okay, so sixth position. Then there's a big gap up the road to fifth. So, oh, if I can get six, it gives me a good chance of scoring enough points to retain my championship lead. Well, like I said before the race, there's that many different permutations of who could score what to win. I drive myself crazy trying to figure them all out. So, my only strategy really is just to drive fast, send it via Deutsche Post. And just hope for the best once the dust settles at the end of the race, guys. We've got the run here. This ain't going to go well. This is squeezing me to the inside. This is not an overtaking corner. This is David Young corner. Minus the rear wing, of course. This is very, very feisty. someone on the grass up there, kicking up a bit of dust, slowing fast out, let's get the apex tight and let's get the run! We're gonna make it three wide! Side, three wide, stay right, hold your line, still there. Great run with the slipstream here! On your left. Let's move it to the outside, let's get on the brakes. Hold your line, clear right, clear all around. There we go. Defend the inside. Puma's going to go slow. Left, three wide. Left side. Clear left. <laughs> Ten minutes remaining. Up to eight. Up to eight. Car left. Clear left. I know the spot said clear uh, car left, but they didn't have the overlap on me, so I was very tempted to just take my line there. Thanks, Boggy! Air and track temps are falling. Oh, that was so close to being a cut track then. Just went in way too hot. Still getting used to that sequence of corners. It's so easy to get caught out there. You get the first one wrong, and it just throws you offline for the rest of them. Alright, so is it worth the send up the inside? No, there. They're defending, they're doing right it. Side. But this is going to put me on the inside for the next corner if Still I can maintain there. it. Clear to the right. Nah, they pulled away. Right, eighth position. I reckon three laps to go. We're approaching the halfway point of the race for two laps down. Guy behind Billy Adams is getting a run. I'll tell you what, these Ginettas pull on the Pumas in a st straight line. What was that? On your right. I got Clear bamboozled right. going in a straight line there. Just done a right side. Hold your line. That was very weird. Hold your line. I didn't follow the contour of the racetrack. I was following the car ahead. They just jinked to the right. Keep it steady. And my car just couldn't stick with it. That's Still that's there. a prime example of the AI having way more Still grip there. than they should. Still there. That was very weird. Still there. Back down to ninth. Clear to the right. I mean, I should have been paying more attention to which way the tarmac went, but I would have expected, you know, my car to stick with it then, but they just jinked to the right and I couldn't live with it. I was like, okay, that's a bit strange. <laughs> just ran off the side of the road. In top 10 weird motorsport incidents, you know?
featured in compilations like Sim Racing Fail or Racing Life Fail or I don't know. Let's see. It's going to end up in a weird place, the internet, okay, for sure. We've got plenty of fuel. The guy in front but is. then again, All right. you're watching a dude in a floral All shirt right. and a fake moustache drive a VR headset right. with virtual cars and virtual tracks. You're already in a pretty weird part of the internet, let's be honest, guys. <laughs> We've got another, another nice run here. I'm going to send it to the inside. Air temperatures now, 17. On your left, three wide, two left. Bulk with the send! You're on the right. Keep it nice and tight, that... You're on the right. Left side. Now that's something that Deutsche Post would definitely be proud of. there. Send and a half. Keep it steady. Hold your line, clear left. Overtaking on the outside of a blind crest. On your left. And then giving the spot back immediately again. Yeah, yeah, whatever then. Uh, bulk, whatever bulk. <laughs> Briefly up to sixth place. Four wide. That's right, Donk. Sometimes you just gotta send it, mate. I wouldn't dare do these kind of moves against real human opponents. But the AI are very aggressive with me, so it's only fair to return the return the favor, right? <gasps> Excuse me. Okay, so I reckon once we cross the line, it'll be two laps to go. Right side. Oh, right. sneaky little poke up the nose there from Billy Adams behind in eighth. We're in seventh. We've got Knudsen in sixth. Now, focus on the road. Don't get caught out again, Dan. B7. Car left. Keep it steady. Clear on the left. Oh, I've gone in too deep. They're going to get the right. cut back on me. Wide. To right. Clear right. Oh, managed to defend it. That's good. So we're up to sixth. Mark Dixon is the next car in fifth, but... It's a bit of a gap there, unless I can pull away from this battle pack. It's remaining five minutes left. Oh, I don't know. Fifth might be on the cards, but I've got to try and pull three and a half seconds out of somewhere. No suggestions in chat from where I can pull that from, by the way. Air and track temperatures are rising. Air temperature is now 19. Track temperatures now 45 Celsius. This will be my first clear run of the day. Now this is the true test for bulk. Can he still remember which way the track goes when there's nobody in front of him to lead the way? No shining examples. Yeah, I've had that problem as well, Bushel. Gap to Simos behind is now 0.7. I've had that problem as well where I've typed a sentence, put an emote on the end, and all it posts is the emote. YouTube's just as it's doing funny things these days. It really is. I right, don't break too late. Nice light apex here, it gets tighter. Track temperatures are increasing. Air temp is now 22. Track temp is now 48 Celsius. Nice and keep it nice and neat and tidy over here. Then we're on the brakes here. Oh, missed the apex again. I need to brake earlier there. Okay, this is the tricky one. Brake over the crest. Turn in. Yes, we made it. That's the one I was worried about. That's the one that caught me out in practice every time. Quarter of a second up on my best lap so far. Oh, missed that apex. That's going to push me wide here. So 
sorry by the way if I'm missing your messages. Track temps are increasing. Air temp is now 25. Track temperature In my VR headset, I'm getting like 10, 15 messages. Capital Dixon ahead is now 3.1. All come through at the same time. And it's making it quite hard to read because there's not really that many straights here to catch up on them. Six. One more lap to go. That lap time was 3.08.6 seconds. That's your quickest lap in this session. Alright, it's a 3.08.561. And this is the last lap of the race. The gap ahead is down to like two and a half seconds now. I don't think I'm going to catch him for fifth. Hopefully, this is enough points for the championship. But I'm not going to find out until the end of the race, guys. I really don't know how the points are looking right now. Air temperatures now 28. Track temperatures now. It's very wiggly. Celsius. The gap ahead looks like it's smaller, but it says it's bigger on the relative. I don't know, we'll see. The leaders have gone. The leaders have just bolted. They're like two seconds a lap faster. Oh, that's close to being wide. But there's a difference between close and actually wide. It's a very thin white line. Called track limits. Six tenths up on my personal best this lap. The leaders are going three wide. I can just see them in the distance. I'm definitely closing on Mark. You've used half your fuel. Definitely closing on Mr. Dixon here. That's such an evil corner, because if you miss your braking point, you're already over the top of the crest, the front wheels have gone light, and you can't put any more brakes down. Closing up a lot on Mr. Dixon here. Scott Dixon's lesser known South American cousin. It might be on for fifth here. I'm going to have to send it. I'm going to have to send it. On your what? Never know if I need the points or not. Still there. Hold your line. Clear oh, send didn't work. Send didn't work. Oh, I couldn't quite make it work. It's not going to be fifth. It's going to be sixth. Are these extra points going to cost me? It's definitely going to cost me in terms of uh, sponsorship money because I needed third to get my bonus. It's not going to be third. Sixth place. That's the finish. Good drive. It's a sixth place across the line. Edilson Freshy won that race. Arthur Morin was in th uh, third. Matthew Buhagia was in second. Brett Nagel was in fourth. It's going to be tight. I don't know what the points are. I don't know what the points are, guys. There were far too many championship connotations to try and keep track of it throughout the race. So I guess the only thing to do really is to pull over to the side of the track, skip the cooldown lap, and have a look at the results. But what a race! Last of sixth ain't bad, could have been fifth. But am I going to regret making... Well, am I, am I going to regret not being able to pull off that move? Oh. Let's have a look then. Skip cooldown lap. And continue. So, fastest lap of the race was a 3.06.3. My best was a 3.07.1. So actually, all things considered, consider I've never driven that layout before. The infield layout is such a pain. That's not bad. Although the AI is probably not the speediest in terms of everybody here. So let's continue. Let's have a look. So we scored eight points. We got eight points there, guys. Oh, 
Oh, can I get some drum rolls in chat? Is Did I win the championship? Did I score enough points to win the championship? Ooh, come on. Here we go. Here we go. I'm afraid to press continue in three, two, one. Yes! Just, just about. Just about, guys. Look at that. Edisil Freshy won the race, but I managed to score just enough points to hold him off. Three points. Three points. By the skin of my teeth. Wow, okay. I didn't need that fifth place after all, but that would have made it a lot more comfortable. In fact, uh, sixth place was exactly what I needed. I think if I was seventh, I would have... Ooh. If I was seventh, I would have scored 64. If it was 8th, I would have scored 62, so I could have finished 8th and won that, but I just didn't know. So, strategy was the best. Strategy was the best of just send it, Deutsche Post style. Ha, oh, okay. Woo! We are the GT5 Series winner! That feels quite strange to say. Bulk Brogan moving up on the world. Another championship belt. Another, another championship under his belt. So, let's switch over to Racing Life, and let's go and add those results in, shall we? So, let's go to Competition, let's go to Advance. Thank you! Thank you, Adam! Thanks, Ricardo! Olaf! Colin! Sean! Marzi! Boggy! Olaf again! Streamlabs! Donny! Donk! Ricardo! Colin! Everybody! Thank you so much, guys! Right, so let's Advance. So, we did the GT5 American Cup. Start that. We qualified it in 16th because, well, we didn't get a valid lap and we invalidated our lap on the final corner of the circuit. However, however, we finished in 6th place and ended up winning the championship by 3 points, but a win is still a win, so that's first. So if I press finish here... Actually, let me switch it over to desktop mode. So I want you guys to see the pop-up window, so here we go. This is what we're dealing with here. If I click finish now, that's right, you guys can confirm those results are correct, yeah? Qualified 16th, finished in 6th, and won the championship in 1st. Yes, that's right. 16th, 6th, 1st. I don't want to get accused of skewing the results and putting anything wrong again like I did at the end of my first championship, because <laughs> there is no undo feature in racing life. So that's final. That's right, got a confirmation from Sean. Excellent. All right, finish. Ding! There we go. You probably can't see that because that window is very small. But I earned 0.07 race result fame, 2.25 championship fame. I earned $375 in sponsor money because well, I didn't get my 3,000 bonus for being on the podium. However, I did earn $15,000 in championship prize money for finishing first in GT5s, which is very nice. I will take that. Thank you. So let's switch it back to Racing Life. And let's have a look here. So we can see fame has now risen up to 13. And I've got $60,595 in the bank. Deutsche Post is still my sponsor. Got 17 races, 3 poles, 11 podiums, and 7 wins. Now, I've got 13 fame. That still doesn't give me enough to enter any other championships this month. If I get... Okay, we've got the American Formula V championship here, so... There's 2 races to go in this championship with $20,000 on the line. And competition popularity of 25. So, if I can do well in the Formula V Championship, if I can win this championship as well, I might just get enough fame to enter the Formula 3 Championship, or, and or, the GT4 European Championship uh, Challenge. Now the entry fee for that is 10,000. I've got 60,000, so that's fine. How much is a Formula 3 car? Let's have a look. Formula 3 car is 105,000 to buy. However, to lease is about 10,000. So I can definitely afford to take part in that championship. 
the GT4 European Challenge is also 10,000, I mean, $125,000 on the line to win each of these championships. 10,000 to enter. How much is a GT4 car? Have I scrolled straight past it? Oh, here we go. Uh, so let's have a look at the... Blah, 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 Camaro. That's going to be around about 11,000. So around about that, 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 that ballpark. Now, Boggy is saying DTM. I didn't see that there. DTM Touring Classic. $40,000 on the line. I need zero driver fame to join it. And there's a competition popularity of 15. Now, the way that competition popularity works is if I have 13 fame and I enter into the DTM Classic Championship in German Group A, then that's got a competition popularity of 15. My fame's 13. By the time I finish the um, Formula V Championship, my uh, driver fame is going to be above 15. So there is no benefit to racing in this championship in terms of gaining fame. But I can win $40,000 and I get to race at Spa, Monza, Silverstone and the Nürburgring. And I also get to race German Group A, which could be quite nice. However, is it all about the prize money? I mean, I'm going to have to lease out a car. There's a lot on the line. I mean, there's going to be 20 cars in the field. I mean, it could be could be nice. It could be nice. DTM Classic is awesome. Well, that... Ricardo the Dev has spoken, so we'll see. I mean, I could register for that right now. We could see. But what we could do... It's all about that moolah, Donny. <laughs> That's what Donny's saying as I... Hmm. Stroke my moustache here. Hmm. Okay. It's all about that moolah. That, that is a nice amount of money. Ooh, okay. I think... We've got some very interesting decisions coming up in our racing life here. Not to mobilize the two. There's the European Formula 3 Championship, which really depends on how much fame we earn if we win. So if we have a look here at our dashboard, we've got 13 fame. It goes up to 25 in the Formula V. And to register in the GT4, we need 20. So we might get enough fame from completing and maybe winning the Formula V Championship to get into the Formula 3 and the GT4 Championships. We've got the money to purchase the cars, well, at least the cars at least, anyway. Hmm. I think first things first, let's get this Formula V Championship out of the way, right? Let's get that done, guys, because then we have all of our commitments finished. We can knock off the lease on the Formula V cars because we're not going to need that for the rest of the season. In fact, we could probably ditch our GT5 car now. Actually, let's skip ahead. July. Is there any GT5 races here? No. There is a Formula V World Championship. Which races at Virginia International Raceway Grand, Cleveland. Yawakochi, Yawakochi. Okay, well, we've raced at a lot of those circuits before. And the prize money goes up to fifty thousand. I can definitely, I can definitely enter in terms of fame. If I do DTM then Formula V, I'll increase my fame. Oh, that is true, Colin. That is very true indeed. Sorry, I just got a cramp in my foot. Then that was very awkward. If I, if I do the f okay, do I need GT fives? Ah, uh, there's a GT five Euro Trophy. But to be honest, I could probably just end the lease and then open it up again. Hmm. So many decisions. So many decisions. But now that, that's a... Hmm. If I do Formula V now, then I'm going to shoot up the ranks in terms of fame. If I do DTM Classic now, 
basically I'm going to max out at 15. And there's only... Well, I mean, these races... Let's have a look at the schedule. Are they all in this month? How do I tell that? Oh no, actually, I wouldn't get to the end of this DTM championship until September. There's basically one round a month. So I can see what you're saying, Colin, but I'm not actually going to get 15 fame until the end of September. Like, literally, I'll do one race in June. It'll get me, like, 0.05 fame or something. It's going to make no difference. I'll have spent the money on the registration fee and the car. And then I'm going to finish the Formula V in this month's racing life. See, look, I've got these two rounds here. And that's already, that's already going to bump me up beyond 15 anyway. So after this month, racing in the DTM Classic is pointless in terms of fame. So I can see what you're saying, Colin. But unfortunately, it's it's not going to work. So I think Ricardo's suggestion of doing the Formula V Championship first and then planning out whether we can do European Formula 3 or GT4s, I think that's, that's the best way to go. That's definitely the best way to go. So it is 10.59 p.m. here in Brisbane, Australia. I've been going for three hours. These are quick races. These are 10-minute races at circuits I've raced at before. So I reckon we could smash these out pretty quickly. What do you think, guys? Should I power through and finish the Formula V Championship? And then, when we come back for Part 5 of Racing Life and Ultimate Ballista 2, we can then decide whether we do GT4s or Formula 3s. We can decide then. Okay. Because I'm not going to start any more championships today. You guys want to see the end of the Formula V Championship? I'm not going to put a vote in chat for that. Yeah, let's power through. Okay, then. Let's advance. Yep. Oh, to Dromo Yawakocha. Jimmy the Bear says, just do it. Okay. Enough talking. Let's do some racing. Let's finish this Formula V Championship. And this is actually going to be the busiest stream in terms of racing life. We're going we're gonna to have done one, two, three, four. We're going to have done six races in this stream. <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, wouldn't you just like a cup of tea there, father? <laughs> wouldn't wouldn't you just like a Formula V race there, father? Yes. Oh, I'm grand. I'm grand. <laughs> Love me some Father Ted Donnie. You you know you've got me at a Father Ted reference, mate. Alright, so that is that championship done. That is our Formula V championship done. We're now going to move... Oh, sorry, that's our Ginetta Championship done. We're now going to move on to Formula V. So, yep. Yeah. Autodrama Yawakocha, 10-minute qualifying, 10-minute race. Opponent skill, 105. Followed by Virginia International Raceway Grand, which I now know how to drive. And I believe I actually upped that to 15 minutes. Okay, let's do this. Formula Vs. And we're actually going to turn out of the pits the right way this time, okay guys? Oh, I'm loving this race in life. I really am. Thank you for joining me on this journey. It is superb. Oh, it's raining! We got a wet track. And rain coming down out of the heavens. But we've only got street modern tyres on these Formula Vs, so... That's it. I, I already did that, Donny. I raced at Yawakocha Reverse... ...in this car for the previous round of the championship and actually came out the pits and turned right. Got disqualified from the qualifying session and started from the back. So... Let's do this, guys. Oh, is it, was it the GT5s? I can't remember. I think it was the... It was GT5s, wasn't it? Anyway, I, I, I've already done a sticky. So, let's get out on track and let's practice in the wet. It's also qualifying as well, by the way, so this does actually count. And pro tip, if you're going to put a VR headset on, make sure you take your glasses off first. Oh wow, it's dark. Excuse me. You're all 
clear. Stay behind the line. OK, Dan, we've got eight minutes to get a decent lap in. Your brakes are cold. Take it easy. We've got cold tyres. We need to get some heat into them. Yeah, it's typical, Donny, Boggy. I've made fun of Sticky ever since he drove the wrong way around this circuit. And then I went and did exactly the same thing last time, early, earlier today. So, you know, it's karma for laughing at Sticky, probably. <laughs> oh, the graphics here are superb in Automobilist 2, especially in VR. I also want to do a quick shout out to Rangy Rover on stream for pointing me in the direction of a nice little tweak to one of the um, text files in the Automobilista 2 folder in my documents that you can make. It really helps the clarity of the graphics inside a VR headset and I am going to make a video on it. It's probably going to be one of my shortest videos ever. It's probably going to be less than two minutes because it literally doesn't need to be more than that. It's such a simple tweak, such a simple fix and it makes such a massive difference in terms of just image quality in VR. A absolutely no performance hit. So massive shout out to Rangy. I am loving the graphics today with all the new sharpness and clarity. Love your work, sir. Uh, Nihei, do I have prescription lenses? Yes, I do. Uh, I don't have that strong of a prescription, but I definitely do need, definitely do need glasses in real life. Uh, but I went through a website called VR Optician. You can basically get custom 3D printed lenses for most VR headsets. give me a prescription and they make them to suit your eyes so when when you attach them inside the VR headset it's basically like 2020 vision when you when you when you put the headset on it's great it really is bit wide there but that's fine managed to save it come back onto the racing line oh Donnie I've done a few races here in wet to dry conditions already man and uh, yeah the puddles are just ridiculous just done a 155.56. Especially in, yeah, that final sector, there's rivers that run across the whole of the circuit. I got a wheel up on the grass there, that's not great. Keep it nice and tight for this. Really doesn't want to turn, it's scrubbing across the front of the track there. Big time. Rain is at 40%. Very wet track surface here. There's a lot of pull in low fourth gear, but I'm going to bob it back down to third again just to try and get a bit more peak, a bit more drive. Right here, Donnie, there's some standing water. Right here. Must be runoff from the lake. And this chicane is a nightmare as well. Especially these curbs on the right here. All right, Dan, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Right side, clear right, on your left, clear to the left. Uh, maybe Marzi, I'm not sure, I might go another hour. 16. Absolutely smoked by the AI here. Wow, it must be another difficulty tweak. Where they just find a heap of pace in wet conditions. The guy ahead has just posted a 158.00. I was a bit tight on that apex, and I'm going to pay the price for that running wide here. Car right, clear to the right, left side, clear to the left. Sector 1 is 0.36, off the pace. Yep, engine stalled as well. Wow. Careful on the rejoin, we've got people on, on the outside, there we go. Yeah, I'm two seconds off the next guy up the road. That's what a little bit of wet grass does. It just sends the car around.
I'm not sure if I can find two seconds. Never mind, five seconds. AI have definitely got an advantage on me here in these conditions. A very unfair advantage, I'd say. They do seem to find a lot of pace in wet conditions. Big understeer moments there. They're just pulling away from me. They've just got so much more grip. So much more grip. Wow. Okay, we've got two minutes 50 left in the session, so maybe two laps to go. I gained a second there, so we'll see, we'll see. Let's give it a crack. That's last. Sector 1 is 0 0.36. I pace. may Sector have to fast. quit to the menu and turn the AI difficulty down for the race if the weather conditions continue to be like this. Because this seems a little bit busted, just like Donny says. going to go into the rear of them then. Lost the stack of time. Seven tenths down. get one more lap after this but the track is definitely getting wetter yeah track track conditions changing does make it very difficult indeed bush off the pace yeah middle sector 3.5 off the pace that's not raceable not worry I'm not sure where I could find that all right, that's 1.2 seconds up. Then we can find another eight tenths. I won't be last. Sector two is 3.5 off the pace. Sector three times quick. So it's all in sector two. I'm losing that time. Sector one and three are okay. I'm actually going to get held up a little bit here now. Slow in a straight line. Nice little bit of slipstream though. Still there. Still there. That was so sketchy. Still there. Clear left. Car right. Hold your line. Still there. Clear, clear to the right. Right side. Hold your line. Hold your line. See some of the up over there. Keep it steady. Line. Use low revs just to keep it. See, they just drive clean around the outside of me. There's no way I can race with that. It's not that that little wiggler on the back's making that much of a difference, right? That's understeering.
<laughs> the car with the shark fin is much better in wet conditions. That does make sense. Okay, well, that's another quarter second up, but yeah, I'm still like three and a half seconds off the pace here, guys. So that is a little bit concerning, to say the least. So for the... Uh, I think for the fourth race in a row, we're going to actually be starting in last position here. Oh. And, it, and this is not by choice either. This is like genuinely, genuine pace. A Boatly would be good. Just follow one of them and I'll see whether... Yeah, Boggy, they're gaining time in the corners. Uh, Colin Burton, that is true. I had to drop the AI in a previous race. Uh, wet race here. Anyway, so let's continue to race one and see what the weather conditions are going to be like, shall we? Continue to race one. Boom! We're going to be starting from the back anyway. Nine minutes. You really need to get on with it. Oh, okay. Well, if you thought the rain was bad then, it's going to get even worse now. We have thunderstorms. And the track isn't just wet. It's soaked. It literally says soaked at the top of the screen here. So this is going to be a bit of a... Uh, this is going to be a bit of a tricky one, guys. Now... Starting in 22nd place. Whoa, that's a big thunder thunderclap. If it turns out that the AI have like a 5 second lap advantage on me, permission to basically restart the race and turn the AI down like 5%. Yeah. That's loud. That's loud. We're here in the mountains of Ecuador. Look at that. This is this is maybe some of the worst some of the worst um conditions I'll have ever driven in. Uh, Colin Burton says reduce the AI now. Okay, Sean Finn says do it now. Okay, right, I'm gonna exit. That's loud. I'm gonna exit. It's gonna save my progress. I'm going to turn down the AI from 105 to 99. <laughs> Near hey, it shouldn't be a race in these conditions in this car. Let's turn the AI down to 99. At least that way it's like not too much. That should be, it should be manageable. And let's try again. Colin Burton says 95. I'll try. Excuse me. I'll try. I'll try 99 first. I don't. I don't want to make it too easy. Yeah, that's 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 true, Boggy. Nine minutes. You miss 100 percent of the shots that you don't take. Right. Ten minutes. An absolutely soaked thunderstorm track at uh, Yaukocha, non-reverse, starting in last position. <laughs> Wish me luck. Here we go. Twenty second place. Go, nail it. This is some of the worst conditions I've ever raced in. Literally can't see a thing. Far right, clear right. Oh, right. aquaplaning on the straight. We had aquaplaning on the straight there. Still there. Clear to the left. Right side, clear right. Rewind in the middle. Clear left. Oh, that was my fault. I far turned right, on him. Clear all around. Got people breaking in the middle of that corner. That really caught me off guard here. Okay, now, decent start. We can build something from here. Gained up one spot up from 22nd to tw right 21st. Right wide. You're on the left. Clear to the right. Oh, I've got damage. I've got severe damage, guys. Right side. They just slammed on the brakes in front of me. Wow. Far right. Clear to the right. Yeah, steering's broken. Steering's broken. Permission to restart. Permission to restart, please, guys. Or do we just keep... Yeah, steering's 
right. steering screwed. I'm going to restart that. I know that's cheating, but I'm going to give it a restart because that really wasn't. That really wasn't fair. They just slammed on the brakes in front of me. Let's try again. Now I know that the AI is prone to uh, just putting the anchors on. Hey, <laughs> the anchors. Putting the anchors on in the middle of the apex. I'll be a bit more wary of that, a bit more cautious. He's still there. Still there. All clear. Wow. On your right. This is very... Keep it steady. Very difficult. In the middle. Hold your line. Still there. Clear to the right. In the middle. Three wide. Clear right. Three wide. In the middle. Clear right. Clear all around. Okay, Dan. You've had a bit of suspension damage. Right side. Clear right. Yeah, it's not too bad. Right start, mate. Well done. On your left. Three wide. You're on the right. It's not too bad. We can keep it going. Still there. In the middle. Three wide. Clear right. Three wide. You're in the middle. Clear all around. Bit standing Car more right. to that. Clear right. Car right. Right side. Clear right. Okay, that's just ridiculous. That right. has literally a standstill. Right. No right. yellow flags or anything. So it's not as the car stops. The AI just decided just to go, Clear Oh, right. I'm going to park it. We are up to 15th from 22nd. Thunderbolt in the mountains. Wow. Thunderbolt in the mountains. This, right side. this is so stressful. Still there. Far right. Still there. Hold your line. Watch out for the standing Hold water. Clear right. Oh, come on. Clear left. That's getting another restart that. I'm sorry guys, but that's that's ridiculous behavior from the AI here. That's ridiculous behavior from the AI. Go. It's like they have more braking power than is physically available from the car. It's like I, I can't react to that. Making me so Still nervous. There. Exactly, Sean. Me too. Rewind. You're the left. Oh. Right side. Clear right. It looks right like side. the apex, the racing clear line, is clear not clear. the place to be. Well, done, I need to just stick to the outside, no matter what, and just eyes on stalks for the cars ahead. On your right. Yeah, look, they're all right. slowing down right on the apex. On the so left. as long as I go wide, Hold I wide. should be okay. Right. right side. Hold your line. Three wide, you're in the middle. Keep it steady. Going on the inside and the outside. Hold your line. Three wide here. In the middle, hold your line. Still there. Clear left. Clear, clear all around. <laughs> that is very true, Bushel. Maybe they got hit by lightning. Clear on the wow, line. standing water on the outside there. On your right. Three wide, two right. On your right. Clear all around. This is something else though, these weather conditions. Like, maybe the AI isn't balanced correctly for them? Or maybe the behavior is not 100% right, but being able to actually drive in these conditions is something very special. Alright, watch the, watch the car lights, watch the car lights. Yep, they just slow down so much. You're on the right. Left side. Clear left. All kinds of sideways. This... <laughs> Nia, he's got a point. Right. This is no condition for Formula V race. Hold your line. We're up to 10th, though. He's still there. Still there. Clear to the right. We're up to 10th position. 21st to 10th on the first lap, seven and a half minutes to go, so that is a quarter of the way through the race. This is definitely the worst conditions I've ever driven in Automobilista 2. Hold your 
inside. Got pinged up the inside there. Now the AI have all spread out. They're not going to be all right. breaking on the apex again. Surely not. Clear right. But we got that guy around the outsides. The outside is definitely the place to be, it seems. I got the standing water, I hit the standing water. No restarts available. The AI is not affected by that, it seems. They just slow down, they don't lose control. Damn! More standing water. All right. Gotta do that all over again. Yeah, the AI needs a lot of work in these conditions. This is not really raceable. They're, they're not driving to the same physical con conditions that you are. Clear right. Right side. Clear to the right. Wow, uh, this, this is actually side. kind of Clear undrivable right. now. Um, permission to restart again, please, guys? This is kind of engineering the race a little bit, but... Um, yeah, this is not... This is not going well. <laughs> Colin Burton says, yep. Yeah. Vushal says restart. Colin says restart. Boggy says restart. Um, unfortunately, I can't change the weather once the race has started. Oh, well, I can't change the weather at all. 20 second place. 10 minutes. You'll need to get on with this. Uh, Quick Street Sim says restart, but with a five second penalty. Okay. Okay, five second penalty. One, two, three, four, five. That seems fair. I can't just restart it willy nilly. There's got to be some consequences. Yeah, Ricardo, I think I'm going to avoid real weather now on because especially at this circuit it's just with the AI calibration as well it's just so sketchy see like I've caught up five seconds again already but when the AI is close together they just trip over each other right rewind you're the one on your right clear right Right side. Still there. Still there. Still there. Clear right. Car right. Keep it steady. Hold your line. On oh, your right. come on. Clear. Clear to the right. Right side. It says I've got severe damage, but it clear still right, kind of... Your suspension is looking pretty bad, mate. It feels alright. It doesn't feel like it's that bad. Still there. Clear to the left. Right side. Clear to the right. Literally can't see the track. Wow. Right side. Still there. Hold your line. Hold your line. Right. This could be the new Croft Vushal by the looks of things. Keep it wow. Rewind, you're the left. Clear right. Three wide, you're on the left. <laughs> right side. Saved. Still there. Saved. Up to 13th. Hold your line. Clear right. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. So many sketchy moments, it says I've got severe damage, but honestly, it feels fine. Hold your line. It feels fine, guys. It's, it doesn't, it's not driving like it has any suspension damage at all. Still there. 
That guy's got the run on me. Clear left. Made it through up to 12th. I think whatever happens now is just survival, guys. Right side. Clear to the right. If I can just be more conscious of these spots where the AI is slowing down and avoid them. The guy ahead is Mayor. It should be fine. Basically, do not stay on the racing line at any point. Because you're just going to end up going into the back of people. So just stay off the racing line. Especially where you know the standing water, because they can just get caught out. Like now. Pull to the right. Literally can't see the track. Right side, rewind, you're the left. Like that, what, what's On that? Right. It's just... Still there. No chance of slowing down there. Hold your line, clear right. Suspension still feels fine though. Up to 11th. The guy in front is Martins. This is good, keep banging out level up times. And we do have time was a bit of an advantage in the championship points, but we'll see, we'll see. Just gotta go with this race, guys. Gotta see where it takes us. Suspension still feels fine. So I'm gonna keep going. It's not over till it's over. Got people going slow on the racing All line, right. as per usual. Clear, clear to the right. Five minutes to go, five minutes left. All right, clear right. Here we go, just... Fuel's good. Play it safe. Keep to the left here, because they do like to slow down on the right hand side of the circuit. Apart from that time, just to prove me wrong. Oh, is it here? Yeah, it's here. Right side. Clear right, you're clear. Just gotta drive around the AI. Eighth position. Sorry. Exactly true, Kevin. Exactly true, Kevin M. That's what I'm doing right now, man. Once you learn where the AI slow down, you can exploit it. So this is just familiarity now. This is basically driving to the conditions. Just watch out for standing water. Watch out for AI cars slowing down all of a sudden. And there was a few here. After this corner, that's it. Right side. Still Get him on the right. Hold your line. Hold your line. So this is now the battle for eight. And leader has just done two oh three point nine four. Come on, Dan. Push, push, push. We can catch this car. Okay, well we're on the pace. We're matching the pace of the leaders here. Still there. Wheel to wheel contact with the guy on the outside, then that was so sketchy. I felt that through the steering wheel. Sorry for the lack of commentary. This is literally taking all of my concentration. I hope you guys are enjoying this because this is stressful from where I am. The rain is not easing as well. This is proper thunderstorm the whole way. That's it, Boggy, between those two left-handers. I've got to stay away from the standing water. And wait for these guys to trip over themselves in, in the puddles. Yeah, look at that. Look how much time I'm gaining here.
This is damage limitation now, heading into the final round. Mayhem is getting closer. The gap's now 1.4 seconds. Car right. Send of the inside, there we go. Still there. He's still there. Hold your line. Clear right. Wow. Two minutes. Right side. In the middle. Three wide. Still there. Clear left. Okay. Right. There he is. Last lap incoming. This is the battle Hold for six. Line. Still there. This is crazy. This this race should not Enjoy. be held in these conditions. Still there. Vibes of Clear all around. Fuji That's 76 right, right now. Zero two. Rush all over again. Right side. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear to the right. Hey, backs out of it behind. Gives me the line here. That's good. Got a nice run. Suspension still feels fine. That thunderbolt was pretty close. Right side, clear right. Short shift to get the traction down. Keep it to the left here. That's it, that's it, there we go. Still there, clear to the right. This could even be a top five. Sorry, Bulk. Sorry, Boggy. I didn't say Dan, I said Bulk. Maybe try our luck into the final herp, and it's going to be a last lap, last corner send. Gonna be close. Car right, clear right. Car left. <laughs> the mega cutback and the drive to the lock. Yes, that is. That's definitely the best I could have hoped for that race. Okay, it's over. <laughs> Whoa. Quick Street Sims called it in chat. That what what a finish. What a finish. My goodness me. My goodness me. Ah oh, that that was actually exhausting. It's <laughs> actually exhausting. Jeez. Oh skip the cooldown lap. Okay, well, from 22nd to 5th. <laughs> You've just got to learn. Kevin M called it in chat. You just have to learn where the AI are slow on track, and then you can kind of avoid running into the back of them. It took a few restarts. It took a few chances to get there. However, on that final restart, um, obviously... I did the five second penalty as per recommendation from Quick Street Sims. Thank you for that. That actually made me feel a lot less guilty about restarting the race. Uh, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Definitely a wet moustache. I need to drink water after that. Anyway, let's check the points. So, Lucas Veloso, head to Nequera, Renan Cassetta, Daniel Rienda, and myself in fifth. So, how does that affect the points? Whoa, okay. Okay. Well, I didn't realize I had that much of a lead in the points there. So even with a fifth, it's still coming out well. So Daniel Rienda was a good good uh, battle there. So we've got one race to go. Virginia International Raceway Grand coming right up now. And then this will definitely be the last race of the stream. Because it is 11.40pm here in Brisbane. I'm starting to get a little bit tired now. My concentration is fading. 
And I also really need a Wii. Ah. Definitely swallowed half my moustache there. Okay, so 85 points for myself. So I've got an 18 point lead over Hector Naguera. Daniel Rienda is 29 points. Tw no. 20. Uh, see, it's like 31 points behind. So Daniel Rienda is out of the running because you only get 25 points for a win. So my only championship rival here is Hector Naguera. On your right, clear right. <clears throat> Now he needs to score. Basically, if I finish, I think if I finish third, if I finish on the podium, he cannot win the championship. So it all depends on where Hector finishes. I need to finish ahead of Hector. If not, then only a few places behind him. So basically, any top five, let's just take him out Schumacher style, <laughs> for sure. Okay, well that's where we are in terms of the championship. So we started in 22nd, and we finished in 5th. So let me continue. Let's go back to the menu. Let's plug these results into Racing Life and see what comes up here then, shall we? Glasses on. And where's my Racing Life gone? There it is. Lovely. Okay, advance. Round 5 of 6 of the Formula V Championship. Qualification, 22. Race result. Five. It was fifth, wasn't it? I did finish fifth. Yeah, it was. It was P5. Thanks, Quick Street. And finish. So this gives me 0 0.13 fame only and $375 because I need to finish on the podium to get my, uh, as you can see here, I need to finish on the podium to get my $3,000 bonus. So I didn't get that because that was a P5. But if you have a look at the dashboard, fame is now up to 13. Well, 13.842, as you can see in the options here. Thanks for pointing that one out, by the way, Ricardo. That was good. So money is now $60,970. Experience 29. Okay, well, we got three races left with our sponsor. Uh, there's nothing to do in terms of, well, between races here. Not yet in racing life anyway. I hear that Ricardo's working on that. Um, so we have one race left in the month of June, and then, depending on how much fame we get for maybe winning the Formula V Championship, we could basically get enough fame to then enter the Formula 3 or the GT4 Championship, but we're not going to do that today. Because this is literally going to be my sixth race of the stream, and I need to knock it on the head soon. So... Let's finish this Formula V Championship in style. We've got one race to go at Virginia International Raceway Grand. And I believe I set it for 15 minutes. I believe I set it for 15 minutes. I can't remember. So let's go back to competition. Let's go back to Automobilist 2. Yeah, 15 minutes. 15 minute race. Now I don't know whether it's going to be raining or whether it's going to be dry so I'm going to pop the opponent's skill back up to 105 again because that's what we were racing on earlier and that seemed to do okay it seemed to do very well at Watkins Glen until I got yeeted out of the way on the final lap not salty but salty so let's get stuck straight into it guys final race of the Formula V season I love it oh definitely Colin Burton uh, she uh, she went to bed probably about three hours ago. The baby went to bed probably four, I'd say. So I am up nice and late here. Hopefully not making too much noise and keeping them awake. If I am, I'm sorry. Sorry. Okay, well, as per usual, nine minutes, well, ten minutes in the practice slash qualifying session combined. So basically times from practice are the times for the grid. We got a dry track and clear weather, not cloud in the sky, so that makes me feel a lot better about what's coming up. So let's get out on the track and uh, let's practice. Indeed, Sean. Indeed, Sean. Working from home tomorrow, so I can afford a bit of a late night because I don't have to get the train in the morning. I can sleep in a little bit. And Bushel, does does my wife know about the secret second life? 
Um, she was very suspicious of the moustache when I put this on about 10 minutes before the stream. She had a little giggle. And she thinks it's cool. It's basically an excuse to wear stupid clothes and put a fake moustache on and kind of, you know, pretend to be someone else for about four hours every week. It's great! Thank you, Punch a Waterfall, for the excuse of uh, setting up an alter ego of Bulk Brogan. And for those of you who don't know who Bulk Brogan is, and why I'm in this position I'm in right now with this stupid moustache and outfit, that's my name in racing life. Not Daniel D. Finney, not DDF Racer, it's Bulk Brogan. Because me being the idiotic streamer that I am, I put the decision out to chat, and that is what you guys decided. Illa Petro, hello, good to see you. <laughs> the Tom Selleck look. And I don't know why Bulk Brogan came with a moustache and a floral shirt and stupid sunglasses and stuff, but it's just what happens. I'm running with it now, guys. It, you can't kill the bulk. <laughs> Thank you, Boggy. Alright, let's go and get practicing. Thankfully, I learned this car, uh, learned this circuit in the GT5 race. We did earlier in this stream. Thank you, now the car starts. So I don't have to learn it too much. I just have to learn it. In terms of this car, where the braking points are. Tracks clear. Push, push, push. We've got seven minutes to get the job done. We've got cold brakes all round. Your tyres are cold. Watch out. Cold tyres, cold brakes. Formula V heading into the first corner for the first time. Oh, now that'd be the life, wouldn't it, Colin? <laughs> Ferrari in the garage. Sadly, a gunmetal grey Mazda 3 will have to do. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to these GT4s and Formula 3s and these international championships so we can escape the American racing scene, the South American racing scene. Not... Oh, that's a bit wiggly. Not that I've got anything against these, uh, these locations, but it would be nice to branch out in the tracks a bit, you know? Just race in a few different locations. Spread our wings in the European series a bit. Wow, that Formula V is so fun to just dance the rear. Constantly an opposite lock. It's probably not the fastest way to drive it, but it, it's incredibly satisfying. Now, I was getting ready to shift into fifth gear then. There is no fifth gear. And unsurprisingly, the brakes on this Formula V are a lot better than the GT5. I could definitely break a bit later. It's a bit of grass on the left there though. Don't want to do that. Oh, big snap. Yep, need to break earlier in the Formula D there though. It's much more sensitive to uh, elevation changes. Oh, Illa Petro. First time catching you in chat as well. Good to see you, mate. Uh, VR is always been my thing. I've been sim racing on the channel for probably about four years now. Oh, we're coming up on four years at least anyway. It must be close, surely. Feels like a... Well, tank slapper much. It feels like a lot longer. But it's always been VR. It's something that I always wanted to do. As soon as I discovered VR headsets were going to be a thing when Oculus first announced the Rift. And um, I'm obsessed with it. It's, it's it's so hard to race on a monitor these days. Now I know in terms of image quality, it's not as sharp as a desktop monitor. In terms of stability, you know, like a stable picture that you guys can focus on. Obviously, my head's shaking around. I'm talking the whole time. Just make it a bit shaky on the screen. So it's not everybody's cup of tea. 
but I do appreciate those who hang out and watch. Love you guys. Anyway, I'm going to go for a quiet lap now, because I've got 4 minutes and 30 seconds left in the session. I already need to get into the groove of this car, so headphones on, volume up, enjoy the sound of a Formula V at VIR, full course, in Automobilist 2. I'll answer that question in a few minutes, Colin. I'll get back to that one, mate. And if I don't, remind me in chat again, please, mate. It'll probably go off the top of the screen. Anyway, back on with the quiet lap. Yale Binsberg going to be so proud of me, throwing it away in uh, three, speedy mic corner like that. I guess I can answer your questions now, quiet lap's not going to count. Um, Colin Burton, how did I overcome the motion sickness? I didn't really get it. I know that doesn't really help. It doesn't answer your question. Uh, <laughs> but I never really found it a problem. I did find motion sickness to be a bit of a problem in uh, Alien Isolation in VR, though. But that was because the camera movement was disconnected from what your character was actually doing. And it had this really strange sensation of taking you out of the moment that was really... It just twisted your stomach, you know? Or maybe the sense of scale wasn't quite right. It was just, just very two weird. Left. Two minutes to go. It's very weird, mate. I just can never wrap my head around it. Great game. Terrifying game. Even without the motion sickness, I couldn't play more than 10 minutes, so I was just scared senseless. But I think for most people who have a problem with motion sickness in VR, short bursts. Just do it in short spells. Don't try and push it too far. You know? Just do like... 10 minutes. Get used to it and then do another 10 minutes. And if you feel sick, just stop. And then just get back into it when you feel good again. Big run, Ripper! Although this is the last race of the day. And I'm about to go into a proper quiet lap now, guys, so here we go. Let's try it. close.
definitely take that hairpin a lot later on the brakes. Oh no! Bugger! I'm starting from the back again! I just went way too hot into that. I thought I saved it. This this car is like a pendulum. Wow. Time's up. I've got a lap on the board. It's a 321. But it doesn't count. Yeah, wow. Thrown it away, guys. The grass is like ice. It just goes round straight away. There's no way of saving this. As soon as you lose grip, you lose grip. That's it. So, okay, well, let's let's go back to the pits. That's the end of the session. And um, I'm honestly not trying to engineer this. I'm, d I'm genuinely not trying to engineer this, guys. I'm genuinely just sucking at qualifying today. So I'm just catching up on some chat messages. Um, having a high refresh rate and keeping the room cool is uh, definitely key to successful VR. Let's continue to race one. You're not kidding there, Spotter. Uh, eight laps should do it. 15 divided by three is yeah five we well, have five laps we've got eight laps of fuel in the tank um wow okay well i'm not meaning to be starting from last position <laughs> exactly sean deja poo <laughs> i love that um eye racing is incredibly good for vr illa petro i just um i'm just doing some automobilist too at the moment it's not that i'm choosing to stay away from iRacing or race room for that matter just this is what I'm up to Dirt Rally 2.0 as well that's quite good um Voitech, yes I am still live streaming it's a long stream but this is going to be the last uh, the race of the stream race number six <laughs> yeah hey start from the back just to prove a point yeah I, th I think I've started from the back for nearly every race today guys Last the first challenge accepted again. I'm getting pretty sick of this, to be honest with you. I, I genuinely didn't mean to throw that that um that away. But yeah, that would have been a good lap as well. I just went into the corner too hot. That is literally my third or fourth lap in this car on this track. So I'm still learning the reference points. <laughs> Thanks, Voshul. Thanks, Wojtek. Yep, last race of the day. Uh, Hetan Aguera, my championship rival, is starting in 6th position. So as long as he doesn't do too well, I should be fine. I should be able to basically win the championship. I've got an 18 point lead heading into this round. So, yeah. Basically, Naguera has to finish in 2nd place. And I have to score no points. If he wins it, I have to finish in... I think 6th or 7th or something like that. Anyway, that's what we're doing. So we've got 15 minutes, last race of the stream. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Leave a like if you have. Say hi in chat. It'll pop into my headset. And subscribe to see what we're going to do next time. Because it's going to be GT4s or Formula 3s. Or maybe even DTM Classics. We'll see. Let's focus on this race first though, right? Let's wrap this one up. Here we go! Okay, down. Get ready. Green, green, green. 22nd and last. Thanks, Vushul. Very true, Donny. And now we have cars to follow. On your left, in the middle, three wide. Keep it steady. Clear to the left. On your right, we're all around. We made it one spot at least. Tiago Vaz. I'm going to try and avoid restarts because it's not raining. There's not really any excuse for poor driving now. Right the AI side. will be driving kind of reasonably. Right side. Clear right. Left side. Clear left. Massive opposite lock there. 
That's another spot up to 20th. We're in close proximity here. Let's right. pull to the left. He's still there. We got a run on that, dude. Line. Three wide. You're on the left. But that's going to be All tight. Right. We're going to be on the outside now. Oh, we got shuffled back out again. Wow. All right. Clear to the right. Now we're on the inside for this right. high-speed sweeper. This is All not right. an overtaking spot normally, and it still isn't. Still I've there. still not got him. Still there. Still there. Three wide in the middle. Clear left. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Right, the Red Sea's parted there. Just found a little, nice little gap through the middle. And there's the uh, classic McLaren Formula V there, by the looks of things. All right. No fifth gear to shift into. They must have got a there. Clear right. Not a good run off the corner. Right side in the middle, three wide. Clear to the right. Clear all around. Well, fine. I mean, if you're just going to leave a door open for me, I'm going to take it, Dave Sharp. Up to 15th. Now, this is the corners that I've been having problems with in the practice. I'm going to take it very easy over the crest here. Disproportionately so. Now we're on the inside. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. Send it up the inside up to 14th. Still no sign of Hector Naguera. Down to third. Can't take these corners too fast, otherwise you just get a massive pendulum effect starting, like a fishtail, but from apex to apex. Oh, bouncy over the curbs there. Pop it down to third. Nice and patient. Feed it in. Heading, heading towards the final corner for the first time. Big oppo here. <laughs> True Colin, there is no fifth gear. Fifth gear is the slipstream. I've been so tempted to put it into fifth gear. So it feels like it's gonna run out of revs, but it never quite get never quite gets there. All right, down anyway, let's move two, it to the inside, gear, break around two, about two, the four marker. Steady. Clear to the left. I was never going to work that. I thought I had the run on them in the brakes, but then they started to send it up the inside of the guy ahead as well. Bit of a drift through that corner. So satisfying. Let's see if we can get him around the outside and force him move on the inside for the next corner. Still there. Hold your line. Yep. Still there. Got him. Hold your line. No, he's Where still you there. Line? Wow, very persistent from Pedro Ficini. But that is 13th place, unlucky for some. So hopefully I don't stay in this position for too long. Still no sign of Hector Naguera on the uh, relative tracker, so that is our championship rival in terms of points. That's the position we need to keep an eye on. I need to get close to him to ensure that he doesn't jump me in the standings. 10th place is for points. So anything 10th... I need I need to be ideally like 6th or something to guarantee a championship win. Right side. That guy just moves out of the way. Hold Very the uh, courteous of the AI there. Clear to the right. So that's 12th. That's the stuff. We've got 10 minutes to go. Okay, down. 10 minutes to go. That's 10 minutes left. 10 minutes left in this race. Not long. Already a... Already a third of the way through. Yeah, I can be so much later than the AO and the brakes into that. Herp in there. Back up to third. Into fourth. Don't break too late for this one. It's so easy. Really, really slow over the top here. The car goes so light. I have to brake early here. Keep it nice and tight for the apex. Or not. <laughs> Next guy up the road is Elicio Neto. The tenth and the first of the points. Oh, there's that pendulum effect I was on about. Big oppo. 
<laughs> the apex is a suggestion. <laughs> I like that. Oh, it looks like ninth place is kick. Uh, eighth place is kicking up a bit of dirt on the inside there. getting quite feisty up ahead. About eight minutes left in this race, so I reckon that's three laps. Three laps to go, I reckon. We've got a nice run here. Just time three, fourteen point seven. On your lap. Fastest lap of the race, that's nice. Still there. Hold your line. Clear lap. Got him. Good pass. Nice front. That lap time was 3.12.9 seconds. In sector 2, three times you could. In sector 1, it's 0.9. Off the pace. Ah, it's so fun to drive this car. If you can manage the slide on entry, you can really just get away with some ridiculous... some ridiculous slip angles here. Oh, missed that apex. Hector's in six. Thanks, Colin. I didn't see that. I was too focused on the racing, on the on on the driving. Sorry. Hector's in six. That's good for the championship. Fuel looks okay. This looks like it could end in tears between these guys up ahead. Don't want to get caught up in this. This is what. Still there. Exactly what happened in the Copa FL Championship. I didn't need to be overtaking these people. I just needed some. I needed right one side. point. I just lost my cool and Still binned there. it from third or something. Still there. Clear right. Got that guy around the outside. And I got a great run as well, so let's move to the inside here. This one is side. this is for eight, this is for Luca Veloso. Hold your line. Clear left. There we go. We might even have this guy as well. Suarez. Let's get some slipstream on Suarez and send it. Left side. He's still there. Keep it steady. No, not quite. Hold your line. He's oh, I'm going to be on the outside now. This ain't going to work. Hold your line. Still there. Or maybe it will. Hold your line. He's still, still there. there. Got to give him that space just to be courteous. He's still there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep it steady. Got him! Oh no, big wiggle though! Left don't side. bin it, don't bin it on the ice grass! On your left. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Okay, this is intense. Hold your line. Clear to the left. Car right. Car right. Still there. Right side. Get this guy around the outside. Becomes the inside. Still there. He's just going to put the power down much better than I am. Now I'm going to get Still there. pinged on the left as well. Still there. Okay, back down to 10th. Wow. Just got mugged. Two laps to go in the race. Hector's making points. The one mistake and that's it. One mistake and that's what it costs you guys. This AI... He's not taking any prisoners. Time was at 360. Sector 3 is 1.8 off the pace. That's five minutes to go. Five minutes. Probably down to third to get some better traction for the drive. Get those elbows out. Keep it up. Got to get those elbows out. Looks like the, the pack of heads fighting and slowing each other down as well. It's not over yet. Still got two laps to go in this race. 
including this one. So this will happen one more. If it finishes now, I will be the champion. So I just need to not do anything risky. But that's not how Bulk Brogan does things, is it, guys? Let's be real. He definitely doesn't shy away from pulling moves on the outside like that. <laughs> and now this is deja vu all over again. We've got the run on Suarez. I just need to be a bit more decisive on the brakes because he uh, held it around the outside and that's what caused the slowdown for both of us last time. That's it. A bit more decisive. Make a clean move. Got it. <laughs> Don't do anything risky, just pass on the outside. That's right near hay. Nice and gentle over that crest. Nice and tight on this apex. Power down. Okay, I can see Hector up there. He's in fourth. Cool, didn't get on the grass that time, didn't. Spin it round. I didn't play a number seven card. That's good. Up into fourth gear. Temporarily back down to third because that's a slower apex. I really should keep it in third, I reckon. Just rev the nuts off it. Shifting it up into fourth is probably a bit too disruptive on the weight transfer. Feed it through gently. Okay, I'm gonna, I am gonna do a quiet lap for this one now, guys. This is gonna be the last lap of the championship, the last lap of the evening. I need to make sure that I do not lose any more positions. I need to make this a personal best, just in case Hector makes any spots as well. So here we go, concentration time. That lap time was three thirteen point two seconds. So I'll see you in about three minutes' time. Hopefully as a double champion of the evening. Focus. Potentially be a podium on here. That could mean some more Deutsche Post prize money.
and that's the final corner I think I've done it I think I've done it Hector's only in fourth and they are the leaders up ahead I'm not gonna get my podium for my Aldi bonus no, my Aldi my Deutsche Post prize money but across the line for a sixth position B6 okay that's the end Good with Hector well in fourth I think Website. that should give me enough points for the championship should just about give me enough points for the championship I guess we'll find out very shortly oh what a race guys what a race I've definitely not made it made it easy for myself today starting from the back from so many times <laughs> you gotta say it's made for some pretty exciting racing and I assure you I have not engineered the stream to be like that I've not intentionally tanked it in quality I've genuinely in each circumstance qualified in that position because that's where I deserve to qualify because I've stuffed it up wow 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 okay oh thank you Wojtek thank you Ripper JDF Sean Colin let's uh, skip cooldown lap Wow. Fastest lap of the race as well, Nia, hey? Okay, so let's continue. So qualified in 22nd, finished in 6th. Hector got 12 points, I got 8, so I should still be the champion. Yes, there we go. There we go. 93 points to 79 points. It sounds like my Formula V is not having a good time. It's stuck in first gear. Yeah, I'm cruising around in the background there. Sorry about the engine revs, guys. But yes, 93 points. We did it. Oh. So we got the GC5 championship and we got the Formula V championship today. That is a lot of racing. That is a hell of a lot of racing there. Made it stick. It could have been a lot easier. A lot of stuff went wrong, but I will take that very well. Left side. So let's continue. And let's put some results into racing life and see where this takes us in the world. Let's skip this over. Let's put these on here. And let's uh, put some music on in the background, shall we? There we go. All right, then. So in racing life, uh, Ricardo wants to see the options before I progress it. I've got 13.842 fame before I progress this. So if we go to the dashboard, we go to the competition, we press advance, we can see that we have one race left to enter the results for. So we qualified in 22nd, we finished in 6th, and the championship result was a 1. Which sounds very familiar, I'm pretty sure that's exactly how the GT5's finished as well. Except I finished a lot, well, I qualified a lot higher than that because there's only 16 people in the race. Anyway, 22-6-1. Can I get a confirmation on that, guys? Is that what we had? 22 to 6. <laughs> JDF. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Colin, because there's going to be plenty more of it happening in the future as well. Because we got some, hopefully, hopefully, this is gonna open up a lot of doors for us in the racing life world so let's finish nice okay race result fame earned was 0.1 championship fame earned was 2.99 sponsor money earned was 375 and championship prize money earned was twenty thousand dollars so let's press ok and let's go back to the dashboard and there we go we didn't get enough fame to uh, compete in the GT4 and Formula 3. I mean, if we go back to options, you can see the fame is 16.9. It's almost 17. But that kind of puts a bit of a spanner in the works because I was hoping to have got 20 fame. But uh, yeah, we're, we're stuck on 16, so we can't... Yeah. Register in those way. championships, unfortunately. Oh, Sean! 
Thank you very much. Ten pounds. <laughs> I didn't make you sit there for four hours. Uh, but I can take the responsibility for it. Get up and stretch those legs, walk around, have yourself a nice coffee, I'd imagine as well. Ooh. 12.20. Basically, 20 past midnight. On Friday for me, so I'll be. I'll, I'm, I can feel the energy draining out of me right now. I'm definitely ready for bed. Um, so, okay, well, we've got nothing left to do in this month. Now, let's just have a quick check. Now, I've got 16 fame. Marzi says, is it worth doing the DTM classics? No, because that only goes up to 15 fame, basically. So, I wouldn't actually gain any fame by taking part in this championship. So I need to basically take part in higher fame championships than my current fame is to get more fame. So there's nothing I can register for in this month. Uh, European F3, 20 fame, I'm out. LMP3 World Endurance Championship, 35, I'm out. DTM Classic, there's no point really. Uh, GT4, can't register, 20 fame. European Truck Racing Championship. Competition. Well, not bad. Thanks, JDF. Ten pounds. That's twenty pounds all up so far for those very few quick minutes. I'm I'm glad you appreciated that. You do realise that is going straight into the fish and chips and uh, chicken twisties fund again. You do realise. <laughs> uh, so we could basically do some truck racing. Uh, four races. Competition popularity is thirty. But if we skip ahead to next month and see what's coming up... We can see there is the Formula V World Championship. Which is the only... Okay, so we've got the European Formula V Championship and the Formula V World Championship. Now, competition popularity of the Formula V European Championship is 25. The World Championship is 40. So, I think we could be doing some more Formula V racing next stream, because there's nothing we can register for apart from the Truck Racing Championship. And that's, uh, I mean, there's $90,000 90, on the line for the prize money. It cost me 7200 to register, and I would need to also lease a truck. So let's just have a look quickly how much the trucks are. Uh, to lease a truck is about eleven thousand. Well, one-time payment of eight seven fifty, and then nearly four grand a month. I've never driven trucks before. I mean, I have an AMS too, but briefly, I don't know how well they would race. It's very tricky. Hmm. I think this is a decision that we should be making next time. I'm very tired. I'm in no condition to be making these decisions. Um, I'm going to let you guys think about it and brew on it. And um, the, the, all the races are in the month of July as well, but I'm not going to progress it just yet because the European Truck Racing Championship is in well, June, whereas Formula V takes place in July. So we will see. We will see. I might do some testing before the next stream as well anyway. Just to see if they're any good to race. Because I know Donny says they're great to race. Vushel's all over it. Colin's all over it. Niehe's all over it. Robert Mitchell is all over it. Uh, yep, yeah, thank you for the stash as well, by the way. But I think it's... Uh, I think it's time to call it, a, call it a day on this stream. That is racing life. Let's make some decisions when we start part five of our journey. Is it going to be trucks or is it going to be Formula V? Or is it going to be both? We've got the money for both. Anyway... It's bedtime for me now, guys. I want to say a massive thank you to everybody for tuning in today. It's been a very long stream. It's been a very enjoyable stream. Excuse me. I've swallowed a lot of air today as well. And, um, yeah. I'm going to be back for more maybe Wednesday or Thursday next week. I'm not sure when exactly. I might even be back at the weekend. We'll see. I, that's, that's the beauty of AI racing. You can kind of do it when you want. I do want to get into a schedule, but it really does depend. Um, but that's it. Keep an eye on the channel. Make sure you subscribe and press notifications on to see when that happens. Or just 
join the Discord and follow the Discord link in the description. And keep up to date with what Bulk Brogan is going to be doing in the racing life world. In terms of DDF Racer on the channel, well, I'm going to have a video coming out on that VR tweak in Automobile Lister 2 I talked about in that uh, race at I caught you in the rain. There is also going to be a video coming out of when my dad first tried VR for the first time, so keep an eye on that. And on the 17th of December, I think it is, I'm going to be doing a Christmas special SCB race where everybody on the grid randomly picks a car for someone else as part of a Secret Santa event, basically. So nobody knows what they're going to be racing until 24 hours before the race. And it's at nut stop. Any car goes. It could be a Formula... FRX 22 car, basically a Formula 1 car. It could be an NSU, it could be a truck, it could be GT3, it could be, it could be anything, basically. It could be absolutely anything. 17th of December, that's going to be epic fun. I am going to be joining Vushal. It's going to be 5 in the morning for me, but it's going to be well worth it, and I cannot wait. So we'll see. But for now, bedtime for me, guys. And, uh, yeah, because I really need a wee. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave it a like. Check out the Discord, check out everything. I've done enough shilling, it's time for me to go to bed. Love you all, and I'll see you all again soon. Bulk Brogan, signing out as a double champion. <laughs> night night, guys. Bye-bye.